everybody, and welcome back to Zumbinis. <laughs> I'm I have had such a frustrating day. I am so ready for some relaxing Zumbini times. <laughs> But welcome in, everybody. Hello. Tuny Flow, congratulations on the first. You managed to grab it. You were here early enough. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And welcome, Equikimi. And welcome, Sunken Shell. Lovely to see you. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Welcome on in. I hope I'm feeling better. Yeah, it was mostly just like a stressful day. Very stressful day. But it's so funny because I, like, I actively remember looking at my phone and the time was about two o'clock in the afternoon which is when I usually stream and I like looked at my phone and I had a moment where I was just like man I wish I was streaming right now <laughs> like I'm fine everything's fine it was just a stressy day so I'm ready to relax and unwind now by getting some more little zumbinis through to zumbini zumbiniville we gotta save them so uh the progress so far in this game um we've got 32 zumbinis to zumbiniville We've got 31 to this camp, we've got 17 to this camp because we accidentally lost one to a fleen who got kicked back to here. So I don't know how that's going to go later on, but I feel like on the harder difficulties I'm probably going to be getting more kicked back there as well. But anyway, I sent like an, another little batch of Zumbinis up to here because I didn't want to leave the one on their own. <laughs> so I brought 16 friends along for them. But uh, I've been making good progress so far. We've increased the difficulty of the first leg of the journey from not so easy to oh so hard. And when we get a couple more through there, that's going to go up again to very hard. And then it'll be very, very hard. But no matter... I, I love, I've got to say as well, I love the difficulties in this game. Like, they could so easily just be like easy, medium, hard, very hard. But... Framing it as like the first level is not so easy and then it gets oh so hard. Like it's it's really like rewarding for a child's and also myself specifically. <laughs> it's like it feels really rewarding to like not be like, oh well I only beat it on easy. That's that's nothing. That's not important. But uh, it's uh, it's a really nice way of doing it, I think. I feel like it makes it a bit more rewarding. It's it feels better doing a level on not so easy as like compared to easy like i i know in my head it's it's easy mode i i'm doing them on easy at the moment <laughs> but then we go from easy to like oh so hard and it's it's immediately all of these are like rewarding levels to beat it's it's a lot of fun also akira hello welcome welcome thank you for the head pat and door knock did the door knock happen if i don't know if it happened or not if it did i may have zoned it out that's bad I'm I'm gonna be leaving people out of my room. I gotta keep the door open. <laughs> but yeah, they'll get home eventually. Yeah, that's the nice thing. Like you never actually lose a Zumbini, they just head back a little bit and then they can pick up the journey again. Like if you fail the first time, that's okay because you'll just go back to camp, you regain your strength and then you try it again. And like in the first stretch, if any of them like lose their way on the journey, they just go back to the little camp and then they can head out again. Like, you never actually lose a Zumbini, which is so important, I think. Because if, if I was worried about them not surviving, I'd, it'd be a lot more stressful. But it's nice knowing that, like, even if you don't get it first time, you can just regain your strength, get back to it, and try it again until you do get it. And that's, like, what makes it so rewarding, I think. The knock did happen. I, I fully just like zoned out from that knock. That's incredible. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, every game could name difficulties from normal downward. It would be very discouraging. Yeah, it's... Can you imagine if if you played it on like, um, like easy, easier, easiest normal and the normal was just like the super hard mode? Like <laughs> that would feel so bad to play. It's one thing that I like with... It's something I've noticed with a lot of games recently, to be honest. Um, hold on, I'm going to go back to the island. It's a bit quiet. Have some music. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. There we go. <laughs> something I've noticed with a lot of games recently. Uh, instead of saying easy mode now, there's a fair amount of games that are doing the difficulty level as story. 
which is like for people who don't want the intense gameplay aspects but still want to experience the story of a game. And I think that's a much nicer way of wording it than just being like easy mode. And I really like that. I'm, I'm a big fan of like story difficulty. <laughs> I think it's a nice way of wording it because then it's not like it's it's not focusing on like the the difficulty of it. It's focusing more on the experience you want from the game, which I think is it's it's a good thing. I like it. But yeah, I'm already rambling now. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like it. I like difficulty options. Because like for things like puzzles, I will always ramp up the difficulty whenever I can. I like things to be hard with puzzles. But with other games, I like having the opportunity to play them at a lower difficulty level because I'm not very good at video games. <laughs> like the vast majority of games, there's a lot of games. I'm, I'm not very good at platformers. I'm passable at first person shooters if it's PvE sometimes but even then I, I mostly only do like co-op stuff and then other stuff like I I'm so bad at things like souls like games I'm I cannot play games like that like not even just like on a difficulty level even if there was a way to play it on an easy difficulty I just mechanically am really bad at those kind of games but then there's a lot of people who enjoy those kind of games and they like being able to ramp up the difficulty there as well. So it's nice having the, the options available. It's good. Oh, it reminds you of the old retro days when the when they were just randomly harder than the Japanese release for no reason, but everything was still called the same. Really? I don't I don't remember that. Oh, although I, I wasn't really much of a retro gamer. I, I would play like Theme Hospital. <laughs> Theme Hospital on the PlayStation 1. That's my retro gaming. <laughs> uh, being direct, yes. Story would mean someone's playing it for the story, so gameplay takes a bit of a backseat. Yeah, exactly. It's. I think it's nice having that as an option because, especially for games with an interesting story, like the the one that comes to mind immediately is Soma. If anyone hasn't played Soma, that game is so good. But if it had been left to me like playing it myself, I would not have been able to do it. I tried playing it and I couldn't. And I actually ended up watching Xander play it instead. And that game is so incredible. And the fact that I would have missed out on such an amazing game just because I couldn't play it feels so sad. But then they added a story difficulty to the game, which meant that like, if you're like, if you lose at any point, you're not just like reset, you can keep going. And, like, if that had been a thing when I'd played it, I would have played it and loved it. But uh, it, it's really nice having that accessibility, especially, like, like I think of Soma just because the story in that game. Oh, I don't want to say too much about it in case anyone doesn't know what it's about. Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, but I love that game. I love it so much. Oh, what if... What if I played it? What if I played it Zoom on stream? Beanies. Zoom beanies! Yeah, they are! Milo, thank you for the resub for 42 months! Oh my goodness, that's, that's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Thank you! <laughs> welcome, welcome! But yeah, I, I love Soma. I'm, I'm now wondering, what if I play that? Because I could play that next month. Oh, Zumblinis! Oh, I missed that! Zumblinis! Zoom, Zumblinis sounds like the ones that are making the pizza, to be honest. <laughs> But welcome, welcome, and Thermo, lovely to see you too. G -g -g greetings. Welcome on in. I hope everyone's doing well. Happy Tuesday. I'm talking about difficulty levels in video games and how I like when things have story difficulties. <laughs> oh, I could play Soma. I've been trying to think of games I want to play next month because next month is October, which means it's spooky season. And I want to play a few games that are maybe not outright horror. Now, some of them are outright horror, but I want to play games that have like that kind of spooky feel to them, like the the horror edge to them without being like the survival horror stealth hide in a locker kind of games. <laughs> but I could totally play Soma. It's been so long since I um, watched Xander play it. <laughs> 
And they have added the story difficulty level. I could do that. Honestly, I kind of want to do that just because I love the story of that game so much. It's such a good game. It is so well made. It's like the... After I finished Soma, I keep saying I, Xander's the one who finished it, but after we finished Soma for the first time, we both just sat there and looked at each other and we were like, whoa. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's a really good game. It's really good. I might do that. I might, I might try and see if I can sneak that in next month. I want to play Soma now. <laughs> it's been a million years. Wow, when, when did Soma even come out? Hold on, I need to check now. Oh, I tabbed out. No, the music stopped. When did Soma come out? Um, it was released in 2015, so that's when I played it. <laughs> so it's been nine years. Oh my goodness, it's been nine years since I played it. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm due a replay. I think I'm going to see about doing that sometime next month. I think that would be fun. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited for next month, though. I have a few plans. I got some horror games ready to play. And I also have a, a super sneaky secret surprise for when I play World of Horror, which is going to happen, obviously, in around Halloween time. <laughs> I got a surprise for that, though, which I'm very excited to share when I play it, but not yet, because now I'm playing Zumbinis. <laughs> yeah, oh, or when the old Castlevania games were just multiple times harder to prevent people from beating them in a single rental weekend. <laughs> Oh, that was that was such a thing too. I remember renting games and then it would be like you you'd have to rush to finish the game before you had to go and take it back. And I would always be like, okay, I have to play nothing but this game because this is the rental and if we don't finish it, we have to pay more. <laughs> so wild to think about that now. Oh, good old blockbuster days. Anyway, uh do I want to go for the, the last leg with some of these? Or shall I get some more past the first part? Now that the difficulty's upped over here. Oh. I don't know. I kind of want to send some more up this way. Because we got quite a few here. Let's get some of these out. Oh, I forgot this is like all of the dot eyes. This is going to be interesting. Right, you know, why Why are you not... Go on the path. On the path? Yes, okay. Let's take some of these along. Let's let's go on a little journey. There are so many with the dot eyes here. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, should we take this this gang along? Yeah, I think this would be good. A logical journey, even. It, all of these journeys are logical. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we've got the 16 here. I'm, I'm going to go for the last leg before the first one this time. We, we're going to start with the, the last levels. And then we'll get some... Get a fresh batch. Oh, saying fresh batch makes it sound like a food. Throughout the... They're not food, they're, they're friends. <laughs> right, time for the most difficult puzzle in the game. Hardest one, really, really difficult. And that's the scruffy hair. Oh no, it's not the scruffy hair. I missed one with a mohawk, Never mind. we're fine. Uh, I love how I was just like bad mouthing this puzzle saying oh this is the easiest one and then I just <laughs> then I made a silly mistake like a very intelligent person it's okay it's fine they're all right <laughs> instant karma yeah that, that, you got them it's all my hubris through. good for you my hubris whenever I start getting getting cocky with it whenever I start being like oh this is so easy that's when I fail I need to stay humble I need to be humble and truly acknowledge all of the work that goes into this all of the thought it involves anyway I'm a genius let's go <laughs> yeah the brain's still booting oh you know what it is you know what it is 
It's this. I haven't had this yet. <laughs> this is what the problem is. This is this is why I made that mistake. I just have to crack open a cold one. And by a cold one, I mean, we got Peach Monster. <laughs> and I'm actually able to open fresh cans now because I finished all of the flat ones from my birthday stream. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I get extra sips now. Thank you. Oh, I love the peach one. Peach and mango ultra ones are my favorite. I love them. Anyway, time for reflections. Which of you is here? It's you. Hello. Yeah, that's you. Over you go. The cool little skateboarders. <laughs> but thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, I'm I haven't had my monster yet. I've I have not had monster all day today. Maybe that's why today was so stressful as well. <laughs> I should have just had a can earlier. Yeah, no, it's fine. It means I can have it now. I'd much rather have the brain cells for zumbinis than boring life stuff. <laughs> Right, who's next? None of these have dot eyes, so... It should be easier to spot the one I have. In theory. If I had eyes... Oh, it's you! Oh, look how sassy this one looks, though. This, this one... I feel like this Zumbini is about to just, like, roll up with, like, a super-powered, like, muscle car in the wasteland. And rescue me. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This is... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please bear with me. What am I talking about? It's fine. Let's get him through. <laughs> oh, I've used up so much of my brain today, but with like not fun things. So I need to like try and get it back. Oh, it's you. Oh, I saw this one straight away. I like this one. Oh, Zumbinis is so fun. But yeah, I, I had a like a, a busy day with stuff, stuff to do today, which uh, ended up being a little bit frustrating, but I got through it and I treated myself afterwards to a nice little naughty food treat, which was nice. Oh, it's you! There we go. But it, it took a lot out of me and... I, I was wondering whether to stream or not tonight, but then I was like, no, I really want to play Zumbini, so I'm going to. <laughs> Even if I'm not at my absolute best, I feel like I can, I'm can. i still good enough for zumbini -ing. I think. Hopefully. Also, Jester, hello! Thank you for the doot! Thank you for the head pad as well, Sunken Shell. I appreciate it. It's alright, I always have energy for zumbini -ing. Boop. But yeah, it's nice though, because I feel like even though there's a lot of thought involved in this game, it's it feels good to think. Wow, it feels good to think I'm smart and intelligent. <laughs> Such a weird sentence. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, but don't worry, I won't force myself. Like if if I start to feel too tired, I will stop playing. But uh, I haven't, like, set a time limit for this stream, because I figured I'd just play it by ear. Like, if I'm feeling rough after a couple hours, I can stop and go rest. But if I'm having fun, I'm just going to keep playing, because I, I need a bit of fun. I think I'm allowed a bit of fun. <laughs> and Zumbinis is so fun. I'm still so amazed at how invested in this game I've gotten. Like, I, I started playing it as a joke, and now I'm just... Having the best time. I love this game. That is the same one, yes. It's so fun. It feels so rewarding. I love it. <laughs> Next one. It says dot eyes. Yeah. Got him. What is this game? Um, the game I'm playing at the moment is a game called Zoom Beanies. I played this back when I was in primary school. When I was very, very young on the school computers, I played this game. 
It's a children's educational puzzle game all about uh, logical deduction and like reasoning and stuff like that. And I, um, I decided to play it because it was added to Steam and I got it. And I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I replayed this game I played when I was a little baby? And it actually ended up being really fun. <laughs> like, it's genuinely a really well-made puzzle game. It's such a good game. And, like, I feel like when the difficulty ramps up, too, it's going to be genuinely tricky to figure out. Like, at the moment, I'm doing this on the easiest difficulty, and this is one of the easiest puzzles. You find the ones that match, and then you let them through. But later on, it starts getting more tricky, and you have more elements you have to add, more things you have to consider. And it's it's just genuinely a really fun game. I, like, this is the third stream I'm doing of it, and I didn't expect to keep playing it. But it's so fun. Also, Uncle Tim, hello! Welcome, welcome! And Myokocho, lovely to see you! Yes, the rare evening stream that isn't on a Sunday. <laughs> I usually only do the, the Sunday evening streams, but uh, I was busy in the day today. But I still wanted to play Zumbini, so I was like, you know what? It's alright. Let's do a, a rare evening stream. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Got him. Uh, I may or may not have totally scheduled today's stream about making sure you have an afternoon stream for your birthday. Wait, is it your birthday? Is it your birthday today? Is today your birthday? Hold on. Hold on. Automaton serenade. I, I can't just pull out my automaton on this model like I can with the other one. So you have to imagine it. I'm, I'm playing it like below the screen. <laughs> but happy birthday! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you could make it. I'm so glad I could give you the, the birthday serenade. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely birthday. I hope you have a great day. Oh, imagine that's just a sound I made. Yeah, that, that's just the generic sound I make when I'm not actively trying to form words. It just sounds like that. Those are the sounds that happen when the brain falls out. <laughs> but oh, I hope you have a lovely birthday though. I'm th thank you for stopping in here on your birthday too. I'm I'm glad I could I'm glad I could play you a happy birthday song. <laughs> right, let's get the rest of these zumbinis through. Ah, boop. There's only a few left now, so it, it gets considerably easier when there's less to, to look through. Woohoo! I, I know so many people with September birthdays. Including myself. <laughs> yeah, September birthdays. Ah, oh, today will be pretty chill, but the weekend's gonna be awesome. A uh, day seeker concert on Friday, football game on Saturday, and fondue party on Sunday. I'm invited. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get there in time, but um, I'm definitely attending in spirit, please. <laughs> let let me be there in spirit. Be like, yeah, Leary totally was here for the fondue party. That sounds like fun, though. It sounds like you got a, a lot planned. And now it's gotta be you. And we got them all through. Oh, I'm gonna make various cheese and chocolate from, oh. Oh, do like the, the chocolate and then have like little marshmallows and strawberries, oh. Oh, that'd be so good. Anyway, let's bring them through. <laughs> I saved them. Search first for uh -oh, tracks. Oh, it's this one. So easy to miss. To get Zumbinis across Bubble Wonder Abyss. This is the one where I have to plan what I'm doing ahead of time, which I am so well known for being good at. <laughs> oh, it's a 
about the hair? Ooh. Okay, so all the ones with the wheels have to go that way. Because if they go that way, they're just gonna... They're just gonna, like, go into the abyss. Yeah, if they have wheels and go that way, they're just perishing. So wheels all go this way. So while I send those off, we can then see this. It's about the hair. So first going up is gonna be this way. And then it cannot be a mohawk. And they'll be safe. And then when it goes that way, it has to not be the scruffy hair. And it'll be okay. So that's that's pretty straightforward. Let's start by just sending these over. And I can send these ones one after the other because they're taking the same path. So these ones can go quite quickly. Send them off on their way. I love these little bubbles. They're so cute. <laughs> right, and now the ones that are left, they're all going to have to go this way. But I have to alternate. So... Not Mohawk to begin with. We start with Scruffy Hair. Scruffy Hair first, then Mohawk. And then all of the rest of them, it doesn't matter because they ignore the, the hair ones either way. So they can have like the up or the sideways. But the scruffy hair and the mohawks, we have to be careful with. So we start with scruffy hair. Mohawk will be the next one. When this one finishes the journey. So I don't want to risk them getting in the way of each other and making a mess. Now we'll send the mohawk one over. Because then you will go that way. You don't have scruffy hair, so you're fine. And you go over there. Next will be a scruffy hair one. I don't want to risk them like getting in the way of each other, but it makes it take so long. <laughs> Like, there's probably a way I could just send this one out now and it would get over in time before this one makes it all the way around. But I'm too scared, so I don't do it. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm, we're not on a time limit. It doesn't matter how long this takes. I'd rather go slowly and make sure they're all safe than risk rushing it and have them pop and fall into the abyss. So I'm just chilling. Right, you're over safely. And that was a scruffy hair, so now we have a mohawk. Yes. And now we have a not mohawk. Which can be me. And then the next one over will have a mohawk. And then the rest can just be sent over in any old order, because they can go either way. <laughs> so they're all going to get over safely. The music's so ominous here as well. <laughs> Come on. Over you go. Right, and then this is, yep, not scruffy hair. So you're the next one across. And then once you make it to like here, we're safe. Send over the next one. Yeah, and the rest can just go in any order. I think I could probably send one that like once it passes through here, it'll be safe maybe. Oh no, it's it's too close. I don't want to risk it. I'm going to keep waiting. I, d I don't want to risk it just in case. I'm glad there isn't a time limit right now because...
because oh. I'm I'm going extremely slowly. All right now you can go. Speedrun did cut it close with the collisions. I was I was so stressed watching this part in the speedrun. <laughs> I was just there the whole time, like, they're gonna crash, they're gonna crash, they're gonna it's gonna it's gonna go horribly wrong. <laughs> I'm I'm way too cautious. But I, I'd rather be cautious and have them all be fine than rush for no reason. Like there's no need to rush. They're having such a, a jolly little time. Look at them! Look at the little feet dangling. Look at you go. I would love to ride in a boat. And then the last one. Into the bubble. Just skating on air. <laughs> Yeah, they're all just having a little dance as they go across. It's very sweet. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty lucky, aren't they? <laughs> I'm so glad they kept all the same, like, narration and music and stuff. Right, we got some more in Zumbiniville. Look at this. We got a swimming pool. This swimming pool salutes the Zumbinis who braved blustery bridges, outsmarted Onyx's stone-faced crew, and won over Willow May and the pizza-eating troll. Yeah! Right, what else have we got? We got fireworks. Okay, that's the only new building this time, I think. Right, let's go get some more through. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's, let's get another... Another bunch of random ones. I'm just clicking random. We're just going to see who we get. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I like I like the look of this bunch. I feel like I trust these Zumbinis. Yeah, let's help them through. Onwards! I love the music. Bopped around like beans in a basket, the Zumbinis were glad to finally reach land. Oh, strange and treacherous land, though it is. Oh, it does look a bit ominous, huh? Here we are again with the allergic cliffs. What are they allergic to? Who knows? Let's find out. You can go first. Okay, you're safe. How about you? Nope. We have our first thing that you're allergic to. Well, we know it's not the eyes because you have the same eyes. So it's gonna be one of the other elements here. Also, Jack, hello, welcome, welcome. It is indeed Zumbini time, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Nice to see you, happy Tuesday. I'm here with Zumbinis and a uh, peachy keen monster. <laughs> right, let's see if it's, or oh, if we do this, we can see if it's the nose. <laughs> Hmm. hmm. Getting a little risky. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Let me have another sip. Haha. -ha. Thank you very much. I'm getting all of my brain juice for big brain zumbini times. I need I need so much brain power to do this children's game. <laughs> I'm st I'm still genuinely amazed at how well thought out the puzzles are in this though. I love it. Right. Is it the nose? Can you go across? 
Okay, this one's fine with red noses. But green and blue noses are not okay. So I'm gonna start sending the, the green and blue noses up here. I think that should be safe. Oh, the, the whole three of them I have. <laughs> And so now it's just a matter of which which one likes which. Let's just go here. Okay, yeah, yellow going over here. That seems good. <laughs> right, and, and now I don't know which of these cliffs is fine with the pink noses, but we'll soon find out. This, not that one. Yeah, we're fine. Send them all up here. <gasps> Stormy Nyan, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome into Zumbini times. How's it going? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Yeah, the best part is the puzzles made back in 1994 as so I still hold up to this day. It's so good. Well, it's like the thing with puzzles, like when well they're well made. Done! They always stand the test of time. Like, the, something so special about puzzle games is the fact that, like, solving a puzzle, crafting a well-made puzzle that makes it enjoyable to solve, that's the kind of thing that's always going to be enjoyable. Like, that puzzle's never going to stop being enjoyable as time goes on because of, like, the elements that make it a puzzle and how to solve it. They don't change. Even if, like, time changes, graphics change, whatever, the, the puzzles themselves still hold up. It's great. Oh, it's going well. Oh, I'm doing well, thank you. I've had a really stressful day today, so I was like, you know what I need? I need a children's educational game from the 90s to cheer me up. <laughs> and it is. This game is so good. I still can't get over how, like, genuinely fun this game is. I love it. I love me some logic puzzles. So much with, like, logical reasoning and figuring things out. That's the like my favorite part of puzzles. journey for many days until they arrive at four stone caves. Oh, fiercely defended, I'm afraid. Oh. Fiercely defended. Here we go again. More of those little pebbles. They're cute. Why are you saying here we go again? Aren't you happy to see them? I'd be happy to see them again. <laughs> Oh, it's been a huge blast from the past seeing this again. I know! When I when I first saw that it was available on Steam, I was amazed. Because I had such a moment where I'd forgotten about it until I saw it again. And then I all of the memories came back to me like, oh my goodness, I loved this when I was younger. <laughs> I love it so much. But uh, welcome, welcome! I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Let's start with just one of them. Okay. Tisk tisk. All right. Uh, well, you didn't like them, but you were okay. So you go <laughs> that way. Right, now let's do one with two of the same features. If there is one. Hmm. There's one with three of the same features. Well, we can see if it's the feet. Not feet, probably. <laughs> <sighs> you can go up there. All right, let's try... Maybe you. Eyes and feet. Welcome. Okay, you're okay. It's either the nose or the hair. <laughs> let's try this. It's the nose. It's the nose. It's the, the pink nose. Ta -ta this one didn't like the pink nose. This one seems fine with most of them, though, to be honest. Then you're don't okay be with shy. the green nose. You're okay with the yellow nose. Oh, you don't like that one. Uh-uh. So you're gonna go that way. So what don't you like, then? Is that the hair? Oh, that's gonna be the hair, I bet. You don't like the ponytails. So I guess ponytails. Step right up. Ponytail goes that way. But, uh, oh, who likes scruffy hair, I wonder? About that. Have a good time. Yes, you're okay going that way. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's the the hair. And the noses. So this one doesn't like pink noses. This one doesn't like ponytails. But everything else is fine, I think. What about the blue nose? Okay, by me. Shy. Yeah, that's fine. Welcome. Yeah, I think these are all fine too. We got them. Hello. Beth. Splendid job. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Good of you to drop in. Thanks for letting us through. Anyways, pizza time. Pizza time, pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza for lunch and snack and dinner and dessert, baby, would satisfy me. Wow, hearing that line as an adult as opposed to a, a young I'm child. I'm starving. I'm suddenly like, oh, okay. Am I? Right, I'm, I'm just going to do things one at a time. I feel like it's the safest thing when there's only two of them. One at a time. You don't like that? Some of those toppings are dis. Neither of them like pineapple. Good to know. How about this? Do you like that? More toppings! You like that. Something's wrong. You don't. Okay, so this is one for you. Let's figure out what else you like. Try this one. There's stuff on that I don't like. More toppings. Okay, you like it though. That's good. We're making good progress. I feel like when there's only two of them, it truly is easiest to just do everything one at a time. Something and then assemble go. the whole thing afterwards. <laughs> I'd appreciate more toppings. Because they haven't like booped me back yet. They're not getting mad yet. <laughs> something must go. There's something there I want. Okay, neither eat. of them like that ice cream. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting when there's three though. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Anyway, I can definitely craft what they want from this. More, 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 yep, more, you want that and peppers. Some of those toppings are distasteful. Okay. I've got their pizzas. I've got all the elements they want here. I know exactly what they want. It's that easy. Oh, Just one at a time. My pizza. <laughs> Just for you, and then you want this one. So you can have this pizza. See, masterful. All you've got to do if you want someone to make you the perfect pizza is you have to wait for them to offer your pizza with one of every topping individually until they figure out what you like. It's definitely the most efficient way. You did it! You saved Maybe them not. all! Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, that went well. And we made Believe it to the campsite! Believe what you see, oh, look at little Zumbinis. You have arrived at Shelter Rock, here to relax and wait for your friends. Rockstar, you know what that means. I'm pretty sure that means the difficulty's gone up. Yep. This is now very hard. So the next time I send some Zumbinis through here, that's going to be very hard. This is also oh so hard now. So that's going to be interesting going through that on a higher difficulty. <laughs> anyway, back to here. Shall we go... The, the water way? Or shall we go the Fleens way? I kind of want to go the Fleens way. Because I have something yes, that I prepared imagine. before the stream. That I'm very proud of. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I'm, we're, we're fighting the fleens again. And by fighting, I mean we just kind of stand there. <laughs> There's no sense leaving it up to chance. Lure the fleens off the, the tree, tree branch. branch. Woo! Anyway, you know how last time I did this, I had like a little notepad document 
and it was a little bit awkward. Um, I made something. I hope this works. Dada. <laughs> I made myself a little fleen grit. <laughs> so I can mark out what matches and what doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I made a little grid just for this. I did it. I did the spreadsheet. I did it. But I figured with this, it's going to be an easier way to figure out what's going on. Because we can start we can start with like things that it's not. Like for example, um if we go for the hair, uh, how many have the little cap? There's three with the little cap with the hair. So from that, we know that with the bob cap, it's going to be one of the ones that has three. Which means it's not going to be the ponytail one. Could be the mohawk one. It's not going to be the viking one. And it's not going to be the green hair one. So just from that process of elimination, <laughs> we can figure it out. I probably don't even need to go to this much effort at this point in the game, but I... Because <laughs> which is the other one I've got three hairstyles of? Is it... No, there's four scruffy hairs. Oh, there's four scruffy hairs, so it can't be that. Can't be that. Uh, There's only two bandanas. Oh, there's only two Viking ones. Oh, wait, which one is there only two of? Which one's there only two of? Uh, it's only two Viking ones. There's only two... Ponytails? Ponytails. It's only two ponytails, so the ponytail has to be the Viking one. And so for doing that, we can do like the little logic puzzle thing of... Going like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Look, we're clearing it out. Hee <laughs> hee. So in the scruffy hair we know is one of the ones that has four, so it's going to be either the, the green hair or the ponytail hair. And which other one do I have four of? Uh, I've got three of the tuft hair. So that's going to be the same as the bobcap one. And that's going to be like that. So we've made a start. We know that the ponytail one and the viking one add up to each other. Good start. <laughs> It's probably a much easier way of doing this, but I was just so proud to make my little spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, it's so quiet, though, because I have to tap out of the game when I do this. Let's have elevator music. I want the elevator music. There we go. Here we go. Uh, please hold while I solve the puzzle. Thank you. Where's my cursor? There it is. Right, so next one. It's going to be here. The eyes and the visor. We're just going with these ones for now because we're playing on easy. So I don't even have to worry about the rest of this. The rest is for like later difficulties when it gets harder. But for now, we're just looking at the eyes. All right, there's six with sunglasses. So where are the, the six eyes? It's the three eyes. Three eyes is the sunglasses so that's there so I know that for sure sorted logic solving <laughs> right so what what are the eyes I've got there's one two three four of the the eyelid ones there's four of the dot eyes there's only one of the cyclops and the glasses so whichever one there's only one of, that's the the visor and the the mask. So visor and mask are going to be I've already forgotten what I was saying, glasses and one eye. So like that. And then dot eyes and eyelids are going to be like that we've narrowed it down more and now we can probably start using combinations <laughs> to figure
figure this out as well. So if we go for the ponytail one, for example. Because we know the ponytail is a Viking one and we have a Viking one that we need on the screen. So we know that's going to be one with the three eyes. So it's that. So the one we do is not the ponytail one with the shades. It's the ponytail one with the dot eyes. Which means that the dot eyes are the 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 eyelashes. <laughs> which means that's going to be that. Yeah, look at that. And so from that, we've actually already solved what our first Zumbini is going to be. Because we now know the Viking one has got to be the ponytail. There's only two with a ponytail. It's not the one with three eyes, because that's the shades one. So it's got to be you. Yeah, look at that. And from that, we've solved one of the feet and one of the... Oh, it, it just fully pauses when you tab out. And from that as well, we know that the blue noses match. And the propeller feet is the little boots. <laughs> so progress! Nice! Right, what next then? Uh, might as well fill that in. Blue nose for Zumini is blue nose for Fleen. Propeller feet is the boots. Look at that. Solving. Solving puzzles. <laughs> right, so then we know another one on the screen has blue... has a blue nose. This one has a blue nose. So it's going to be another Zumbini I have with a blue nose where there's literally only one of them. It's just this guy. <laughs> so from that, we know it's yeah, got to be you. <laughs> See, I didn't even need the, the spreadsheet, to be honest. I didn't need it. I'm solving it without that. But because of that, I know so much now. Like, I know that the bandana is the... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is it? The bandana is the tuft hair. Which means that's that one. Solved them. And we also know the feet, the shoes are the little propeller hover jets. So we got that as well. And we already had the eyes and the nose. So yeah, progress. So from that, we now know that the one we have left to get is either scruffy or mohawk. Scruffy hair or mo No, it's not. No, the mohawk. It's the bobcap. It's one with the bobcap. So, oh, see, my diagram actually helped. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> see, that just made it all worthwhile. My diagram helped me realize the mohawk fleen is the bobcap hair. I know that now. I know it has to be that. So it's one of the ones with the, the little bobbed hair and the cap. And two of the ones with the bob hair have the same eyes. And we know it's not that one. Because these two with the same eyes are both over here. So these two with the same eyes are here, so it's gotta be you. And just like that, we solved it. Oi, oi. Did it! Yeah! I need to turn the elevator music off, hold on. <laughs> but yeah, it worked out! I'm so glad it worked out. <laughs> the power of spreadsheets. I feel like the spreadsheet is going to be incredibly important on the hardest difficulty for this level because when it gets harder it stops being like perfectly aligned like sometimes the hair won't be the hair it'll be like the hair of the Zumbini can correlate to the feet of one of the fleens so it gets harder as it goes on but for the start it's all very much like the hair is the hair the eyes are the eyes but we did it I did it! And thank you for the confetti! Hurry, and thank you for the headpad too! Is. Welcome, Suzume! Hula, the forest's foremost, and perhaps only, band leader is about to begin rehearsals! She'll be closing the hotel for the night, so scamper into a room! Okay, let's figure out what the, the hotel rules are. 
Guests? Whoa. Ah, guests. I'll be right down. You know what? I'm going to skip this dialogue. We've heard it enough. Right, let's start with you. You go in that room. Let's put you in there because you have two of the same features. Yes. So it's either the eyes or the feet. Let's try eyes. It's the eyes. Okay. Well, that, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy to figure out. <laughs> I just got it first try. That's very nice. I like when that happens. It's, it's, it's eyes. They have rooms depending on their eyes. Oh, I love when I get it first try. By complete accident. <laughs> Let him in. Boop, boop. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe you would make that joke. No, I can. I can believe it. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> There we go, that was so easy. No time passed at all. We just got it first try. All of the Zumbinis were immediately just like, hey, yeah, this is our room. ready to snooze. Dream a little dream. Good night. They all just instantly were like, yeah, this, this is my room. This room was made for me. And now the mud ball wall. I really like this one. I'm really Strike excited for this one on one and harder all. difficulties. And watch for a pattern on mud ball wall. Yeah. Yeah, I really love this one. I'm just gonna start with whatever random one it gives me first. That's our starting point. Oh, that's a nice starting point. That's a very nice starting point. Right, is it colors? Is colors the column or is colors the row? Colors are the row. Okay, so we know this is all the stars. So we're just all the stars. That's a nice star, look at that. <laughs> the perfect way to figure it out. Just every, every color, but with a star. Yeah, I love how rooms one, three, and four are just packed and the other two have the giant rooms for themselves. Yeah, they're, they're very, um, very needy Zumbinis. They need their space. The others just like to spend time with each other. <laughs> it's it's the, the extrovert versus the introvert Zumbini bedroom. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Now we go yellow. And then we go green. Up there. It's so smooth. I love it. Yeah, it would have been so nice if the whole column was pink and I could just send them all over as pink ones. Well, this works too. It's nice when they are all in a straight line like that. Because the first lot is so easy to figure out. Like that. And we know that there's like most on the the blue line. So let's go blue for guessing the next ones. And we'll guess triangle. Yes. Very nice, thank you. Let's guess diamond. It's not diamond, but that means it's square. And that means the last one is green square. Got him, easy. I really like this one. I feel like this one's fun to figure out. <laughs> yeah, got him! <laughs> Rate this puzzle five stars all down the column. <laughs> Zumbini! Hooray! I got them all up! Amazing indeed! Another relaxing Jeez. campsite ready and waiting for Zumbinis! Yes, you've said that before. Right, so the question now. What do I want to do next? Oh, maybe I just keep going. I kind of want to do this on Oh So Hard. 
I want to see what these puzzles are like now that the difficulty's gone up a bit. Because these first two are so easy. <laughs> but they're not going to be now. Let's see. Uh, refuse to believe the narrator didn't have fun recording his lines. Oh, you, you must have had so much fun doing this. Throughout these gloomy mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. I'd love to do narration for something in this kind of this kind of style. Just like as they head on their treacherous journey. Let's see how it goes. Woo! Just like fully going for it. <laughs> Ooh. It's only given two of them this time. So we know it's something, then red nose, something, then yellow nose, then something. So let's start with blue. Blue's over here. Oh, we've, we've only got four notches now. Now it gets trickier. So we know that red comes before yellow. There's only two with red noses though. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Is there one with four? Because the fact that this was plopped up here means that it's like the three red. Oh no, it could be the other way around. It could be the last two are red and yellow. All we know is that the, the red comes before the yellow. How many yellow are there? There's four. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. No, I don't think it's gonna be that then. Oh, there's three with red. One, two, three. Oh, there's four with pink. Okay, so let's see. Is it pink first? It's gonna be pink, then red. Pink, then red, then blue, then yellow, then green. That's what I think it is. Let's see. Also, Rick Sager, hello, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, the Mountains of Despair. What an area name for this children's educational game. No, but it's, despair is an important thing. Like, you cross the Mountain of Despair, and you overcome it, and you find the hope on the other side. In Zumbiniville. It's great. Right, and then it's blue. And then it's yellow. And then it's green. See, only one wrong guess, and we managed to figure out everything else from that point using logical deduction. You That's why it. this is a you good game. You saved them all! That's why this is a, a, a powerful game. I love that. I did it. Overcome despair to find hope. <laughs> Danganronpa did not invent despair and hope. <laughs> Use the crystal filters to change the Zumbini's reflection. <laughs> it will... Can you imagine just like, oh, hope and despair didn't exist. Here we go. Now it gets trickier. Now it gets trickier because we've got combinations here that end up like overlapping. Let's, let's try to figure out how this works. Right, I'm going to start. This is just the eyes. So it's going to be one with these eyes, I think. And a propeller. Hmm. Now I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one to stand here. See what happens. that look but whatever happens it's gonna change the eyes and the propeller so I need one with that hair green nose and that hair and it's gonna be changed for propeller through the crystals anyway send just like any with those eyes that might work I'm not sure, I need to think this through a bit more. Also, everyone's favorite nerd. Hello, welcome. Oh, thank you for the follow. Haven't seen this game for like 20 years, almost forgot it exists. Honestly, me too. Like I, I started playing it because I 
I first played this back in primary school when I was very young. And I had such fond memories of playing it. I loved playing it so much. So when I saw it was on Steam, I was like, what the heck? I remember Zumbinis. Hello? This has been like HD remastered. What is happening? And so I decided to play it like kind of as a joke. And I just kind of, I thought it was just gonna be a one-off thing. Like I'll, I'll just check it out be like, hey, remember this? Okay, back to the normal games. But it's so fun. It's still really fun. It still holds up. Like it's, there's a lot of genuine thought that goes into it. Like you have to think things through quite significantly. And it's so interesting. Right, I think the way this works, I'm not entirely sure. I might lose a Zumbini here, but I think like it'll overwrite the features as the crystal shines through. So for this one, because we've got like a hair, nose and propeller, the only thing that's gonna go through is the eyes. So we'll just send you through with the eyes. And then this one, we've got the eyes and the propeller. And then the nose will carry through. And then the hair will carry through. I think this should be okay. I'm not sure. Let's just see what happens. This is the experiment. It, yes, it made the same thing. Yes, that's how we do it. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, well, it's, we got it. it's gonna be the feet. The eyes are going to be overwritten, whatever we do. So we need one with that hair. And then one here with a pink nose. That should do it, because like these, these are the same. We don't have to worry about the feet or the eyes. We've got the hair, we've got the nose. I think that'll work. Yep. Yeah, I've got this. <laughs> Just gotta be careful to do it in the right order, like the right layers. We got it again. Okay, so we know we need the hair. And then we need one with a pink nose. That should do it. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> I love this. Oh, same here. Your cousins from out of state had it back when you were like eight years old and you thought it was the coolest. I know, it's so good. Like, I, I used to play it in school when I was younger. It was it was installed onto all of the, the school computers, along with another game called The Crystal Rainforest. That one does not hold up as well as an adult playing it. I, I have tried playing The Crystal Rainforest again. It's, that, that one is very much a children's game. <laughs> but this one, like, it still ends up making you think. Like, even as an adult, some of the puzzles require some genuine deep thought which I think is so cool. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the hair. Don't have to worry about the nose. I need the propeller treads. And I need dot eyes. Yeah, that's all I need here. I just need dot eyes and the wheels. And that should do it. Yep, got him. Hey, hey. Oh, if you're watching this for a while and you're still a bit confused about how the puzzles work. Oh, well, if, if we're talking about this one, for this puzzle, what you have to do is you have the Zumbini over here and using that, you need to make a reflection that will then match up on the other side. But the way it works is when there are panels in front, they basically overwrite whatever's behind them. So for example, if I put this one here, then as it goes through, it's gonna keep this eye, because there aren't any eyes on these plates, but when it gets to here, it's gonna have a red nose. And when it gets to here, the hair and the propeller's gonna change. So this is going to be like a, a cyclops with a red nose and this style. So then I would have to try and make the same thing on the other side, which I actually cannot do because I don't have any with cyclops eyes over here. So let's go dot eyes instead. Like, these have all the features ready, so the only thing that needs to match is the eyes. Which makes this one much more straightforward. <laughs> but now, because this one has the eyes, and this one has the eyes, when I go like that, it's the features on here with the eyes. And they can get through, because it matches and it raises the crystal. Because if you do it and the images don't match, the crystal won't raise, 
and the Zumbini will just go bonk into it and have to go back to the campsite. <laughs> but yeah, the first difficulty for this puzzle specifically is really easy because it's literally just you have to find the plate that matches your character completely. <laughs> but it gets harder as it goes on when you have to start considering the other plates as well. But yeah, it's really cool. This is another one that's just eyes. It's just the eyes. All right, let's go shades. It's got three features on the, the tiles, so we only have to match the eyes up. That makes it so easy. Look, it's the same again. All right, eyes. Look at that, matching up. Easy. Is it just staying like this the whole time? Is it going to be eyes for everything? I do hope it changes because I don't have another one with glasses. <laughs> How am I going to do this? I don't have a Cyclops one. I don't have one with glasses. Am I, am I going to get like locked out of this because of it? Yeah, they're not changing. I might be in trouble here. No, okay, now it's changed. Okay, there's the failsafe. <laughs> Until I did everything I could with that set, I guess. That's when it changes, when there's nothing else I can do. Okay, so it's one of them with, with a mohawk and dot eyes. So we go dot eyes. Hmm, now we need the feet as well. Dot eyes and a propeller. And a blue nose. So that's gonna match. Because it will overwrite the hair when it gets to here. Yeah, look at that! Right now it's changed again. So it's gonna be tuft hair. So we need one with tuft hair on this side. And it's gonna overwrite to dot eyes. So we need one with dot eyes. So any tuft hair, I think. Because then tuft hair, dot eyes, red nose, skates. And that's going to overwrite to the tuft hair. That'll do it. Yeah! You got him! Alright, so ponytail hair. Shades. The nose is going to be overwritten no matter what happens. And these feet. So yeah, it's just gotta be one with shades. So we got the feet, we got the nose, we got the shades, we got the hair. Yeah. Okay, um, don't have to worry about the feet. Pink nose. Pink nose. Sunglasses and scruffy hair. Oh, sunglasses. All I need is the sunglasses. And then I've got the scruffy hair, the pink nose, sunglasses, same feet. Yeah! I got him. <laughs> Two left. It's gotta be sunglasses over here, and then it's gotta be pink nose over here. And that'll do it. Yeah! Get in the hang of it now that I, I know for sure what things do. Like, I, I thought I knew, but there's always the little worry for the first time doing a puzzle. Like, is this going to work the way I, I, I think it should? Right, well, it's got to be the same eyes. And then it's going to be scruffy hair. We got the red nose. We got the right feet. Yeah. Hee <laughs> Oh, I'm not looking forward to this next one, though. This one's going to be tricky. Search first for traps. Uh -huh. So easy to miss. To get Zumbinis across Bubble Wonder Abyss. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay.
If they have shades, they die. If they go that way. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I, I can feel my brain shutting down as I look at this. I need to think this through logically. <laughs> Right, uh, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? We're going back to elevator music a second. I want to plot something very quickly. What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna load up my paint window. I'm gonna copy this level... into paint. I'm going to draw all of the patterns in. I'm going to draw all of the paths and figure it out through that. There we go. I got my little window. Little paint window. Let's just start drawing the paths on. <laughs> Look, if it works, I think it's a valid strategy. So let's start with yellow because yellow is very easy to see. So the first path is here. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do purple. Purple goes that way. And then when it gets to here, it's going to split into, <laughs> into red and blue. So one path goes this way. Oh. If they don't have shades, it'll go... If they don't have shades or dot eyes, then that will go to the end. So this path is no shades or dot eyes. Red path, we don't have shades or dot eyes. Then they're safe to go up there. Now we go down. <laughs> down will be blue. So down we go here. We go this way. If you have shades, you perish. If you have those eyes, you perish. And then the rest goes to the end. So this path, we do not have shades or the eyelid eyes. And then they're safe. <laughs> those are the first two paths. Um, this, I'm, I'm gonna write it down actually. I think it's easier to write down instructions to myself. But this is like a really nice way of plotting it out in my head, I think. All right, where's my notepad? Look, I'm just making notes everywhere, all over the screen right now. This is a children's educational game, and I'm just here like, I gotta make notes on this, I gotta figure this out. So, left path. Oh, left path. Up. No shades. Or dot eyes. Down. No, was it shades again? Yeah, no shades or eyelid eyes. And then the rest are safe. So that's, that's the left path. Those are the instructions for the left path. Got those sorted. <laughs> Got those there. Oh, no way you could have done this when you were younger. Oh, this is the kind of thing that my younger self like just slurped up like spaghetti like I love this kind of stuff it's like I was thinking about it the other day and I actually think Zumbinis may have been like my origin story as to why I love logic based puzzles so much I think this game is the reason I think this game is why I love logic puzzles so much <laughs> like no joke fully fully convinced right so now we're gonna do the next path See what the right hand path is. So this way it goes here, then it goes up, it goes right, it goes down, and then it goes left if you have shades. So if you have shades, you take that path. Okay, that one's very straightforward actually. Right, right path, all shades. Everyone with shades goes this way. There, we've got it. We've got... <laughs> we've got everything we need. 
we have all the information we need now and we can start sending them on their way. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me hide my notepad. No, I keep the notepad. Let me hide the paint window. We don't need that anymore. But yeah, going through the paths like that helped me a lot, I think. But there we go. Here, here are the instructions on how to get through here. <laughs> Figured it out. The power. The power of logical deduction. I think I've got it, Professor. Right, so every single one of these with shades needs to ha take the right path. Because they're the only ones that will survive. So we can we can start sending all of those over. Because the ones with shades are just going to perish on this path no matter which way they go. So all of the ones with shades are going this way. Oh, and I've got to be careful with this too because they can boop into each other when they're doing that little turn at the end. So I can't send them all over at the same time. But yes, all the ones with shades go this way and they are safe. This makes it easier as well for the first one because we've just completely discounted the shades now because we're sending all of the ones with shades over this way. So it's now just up is no dot eyes, down is no eyelid eyes. It makes it more straightforward. Like it looks super complicated when you look at it, but when you break it all down into parts and figure it out, it's not as intimidating. And that's why I love puzzles. <laughs> It really is the reason why I love puzzles though. It's just like breaking things down, finding the, the things it has in common, the things you need to know, the things you don't need to consider, and working it out like to, to get to the end result. I think it's so rewarding. I love it. I love puzzles. Uh, exclamation point puzzles. Uh, <laughs> let's keep sending the shades over. Yeah, I do actually have a, a command with my bot as well if you do exclamation point puzzles. It's a very important message about what I think of puzzles. Extremely important and serious. <laughs> PSA, everyone has to know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. <laughs> I love them. They're great. I'm the puzzle cat for a reason. Right, and the ones that don't have the dot eyes or eyelid eyes, they can go at any time. They are not a problem. They won't get booped away on either path. So they're completely fine. So now uh, we're starting with the up arrow. So up means not the dot eyes, so we'll start with the eyelid eyes. Yes because they're not going to be able to go along the bottom path or the down path. So the first few are going to be eyelid, dot eyes, eyelid, dot eyes, etc. Got the eyelids. Thanks to Possum for my sub gift. Puzzles Lyriel 1, Wilds Lyriel 1, Fire Lyriel 1, Bongo Lyriel 1, Cheer Lyriel 1, Dead. Oh! Thank you so much for the 12 month sub. Oh my goodness. Thanks to Dima for the sub gift. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the year mark. You got the year. That means you've got the, the full heart. <laughs> the full heart sub badge. Right. That was just, yeah, that was eyelids. So now it's dot eyes. <laughs> This is always like, even though I've worked it out in my head and I know this is probably going to be right, 
I'm still worried until they get over the other side safely. I, I still worry. No. Yes, you're safe. You're good. All right, eyelids. Eyelid eyes, and then dot eyes again. I'm going slowly. I'd always rather go slowly and not not worry then risk rushing and have everything go wrong now dot eyes over they go you go that way Eyelid eyes. <laughs> fleas? You're not fleas. No, we're some beanies. We chase the, the fleas off with bees. <laughs> Hi, Double Barrel Shogun. Welcome. Welcome on in. Welcome to Zumbini time. We're just about to get some more Zumbinis to Zumbiniville because I figured out the puzzle with the power of Microsoft Paint and n Notepad document. <laughs> right, that, that was eyelids. That was eyelid eyes, right? Yes. So now it's dot eyes. Yeah! And the next is the eyelid eyes. And Drug De Niro, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Um, enjoy watching children's educational games with me. Hi. <laughs> thank you for the follow. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. I'm so close. We're so close to Zumbiniville now. I just need to keep doing this and we're fine. I just need to keep sending them over. I'm, I'm too scared to send multiple over at the same time. I feel like I'll try it once and they will bash into each other and everything will go wrong. <laughs> do that and then we do the dot eyes. And then these two can just go either way. They, it doesn't matter which path they take, they're fine. They're fine, they're ignoring all of these spaces. <laughs> oh, that one was fun to figure out though. I enjoyed that one. Right, can you probably send me that? Yeah. Last few. Up you go. And on to the next one. Got him, that was safe. Save them all! Zombini Middle! Here we come! Twas a treacherous journey, but we made it! With the power of our splendid guide, Liri! <laughs> I could be the narrator for this game. I could be the, the, new, the new narrator. No, I wouldn't want to replace the narrator, though. I love the narration in this game. It's well so perfect. Well done, no wise and trusted guide. It's me. It's me. I'm the wise and trusted guide. Let's go to some Beanie Bowl. Yay! Do, do, do. We made it. Oh, what's this? The band shell. Oh, I love that. This band shell was built to honor the Zumbinis who overcame their fear in Lion's Lair, had things go fine in the mirror machine, and rode a wondrous bubble ship when the traveling was oh so hard. I did it! Difficulty increase! Oh yeah. <gasps> Look, there's little flowers and stuff! Oh, the pool is so lovely. I love this place. I think Zumbiniville is growing to be a splendid place. Anyway, let me remove my notepad from the screen. We don't need that anymore. 
But look, it's so lovely. Right, let's get some more. Ooh. Should I try this part on the, the very hard difficulty? Or should I... Maybe I'll take some of the ones at camp and we'll go up the, the top path again because it's been a while since I did that. I keep going for the fleems. <laughs> it will mean I'll leave someone behind again, but it's, it's okay. We'll, we'll bring them more friends soon. We will find more friends to bring over for them. They won't be alone the whole time. Maybe we bring the friends over first. I don't want to just leave one of them there alone. Let's do the start again. <laughs> and now we're we're ramping it up to the, the third difficulty level now. So I can't just be as blasé as I've been so far. <laughs> but I still think it's going to be fairly straightforward. Like, once I figure out what's what the pattern is once i've gotten the pattern once i know what it is that i need to look out for it makes it easier but until then we've got to guess <laughs> onwards <laughs> oh after days tossed about by a stormy sea they the made zubinis it. are glad to finally put foot or other ambulatory device on solid land. Though a peculiar and treacherous land it is. All right, let's see what the cliffs are like this time. All right, we've got a lot of Cyclops ones this time. So let's start by sending you over. Okay, you're okay on this side. Let's try this one that has the same eyes and nose. Let's try this one. Okay. Let's try this one which has different eyes and nose. Also okay? Okay, I... What can I learn from this? Let's try this and see if it's the feet. It's not those feet, okay. Well, this one is fine so far. It's possibly going to be a nose thing because I've been sending over a lot of the ones with the same nose color. So let's try one with a different nose color. Let's do... Hmm. This one has different eyes as well. Okay, you don't like that one. You don't like that one. I guess you're going the other way. Boop. Okay, so eyes or nose? Let's experiment. Nose. Nose. Might be eyes as well. We don't know. I'm going to send you over here because I think that's safe. Yeah, we've got like a combination of everything here. That one's safe. Uh, let's see dot eyes. Okay, you're you're safe. You can get over. Okay, right, let's try. Hmm. Let's try this one and see the nose or hair. Okay, no. Nope. Alright, you're not you're not going over that way. So we know it's not the feet. And we know it's not the eyes, because this one had the cyclops eyes. So it's going to be nose or hair. I think it's noses, because this hair's here. I think it's going to be the noses. So let's see if you're okay. Oh no, okay. I think it might be hair as well. 
this one might be allergic to the ponytail hair and either the red nose or the shades but I don't think it's allergic to anything else. I think, like, if I send this one over here, this one should be okay. Yeah. And then I think if I send you this way... And then I'll also send that one up this way. Because of the ponytail hair. Right, so... You should be okay? Yes. And now it's just this one with the the bob hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it at the top because that's where the other ones with the shades are. Yes. We got them! You got them all through! Good for you! Right, yeah. I think this one was allergic to the ponytail hair and the red noses. Yeah, I, th I think it was the ponytail hair and the red noses. So this one probably would have been okay here, but it's, it was safer to just send him up the top. But we got him! And still with two pegs too, we still had another chance. Got him! Difficulty increase? Give it to me. I'm ready. I'm ready to be smart. <laughs> this one's gonna be interesting. More of those little pebbles. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. We're being welcome this time. Thank you. Right. Start with the trusty. Hello. Okay. Yep. Let's try two of the same features. Okay, by me. Nope. Okay. Not all doors are open to you. You don't like the eyes or the nose there. It's the eyes or the nose. Let's try and figure out. One of the chosen few. <laughs> sure. It's the eyes. Okay. Mm, okay. Start sending Proceed. these up. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't like the... Uh-uh. Hair, nose, or roller skates. One of the yep, chosen okay. few. Okay. Okay, so this one doesn't like one of the features here. This one does not like the, the eyelid eyes. So all of those have to go up the top. Kind of slow, ain't ya? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all of the eyelid ones up. Let's try with the, the Cyclops eyes. Oh, let's... Yeah, no, wait. Hold on. I want to I wanna know what this one doesn't like. Like, if we do this, it, it narrows it down to either the tuft hair or the nose. Oh, well, we know it's not the feet. So let's do this one. I don't think this one likes the tuft Ooh, hair. Nice try! So I'm going to send you up here as well. Oh no, you don't like that one. That is so mean. We must be selective about our clientele. Okay. So you don't like either the green nose or the single eye. Do you only like the eyelid eyes? Is that what it's going to be? Oh my goodness. It might be. Very possibly might be. But yeah, this one does not like the tuft hair, so I guess you go there? Step right up. Okay. <laughs> you don't have the tuft hair. Kind so of slow, ain't you? Through. Yep, we got him. Also, Delphi, hello! Welcome, welcome! The Zumbinis are so cute. I love them. They're so lovely. They are just shaped like friends. I love them. But hello! Nice to see you! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to what do these people want? I don't think they care about the noses. The noses are, like, all over the place. I think it's definitely hair-related at this point. Right, can I send you up here? Oh. Nice try! How about here? Okay. Okay, you're good here. So, what didn't you like? 
We know you don't care about the propellers, that's fine. You're fine with the blue nose. You're fine with the cyclops eyes. You don't like that hair. Okay. You're picky with hair. You're fine with the mohawk and the ponytails, but you don't like the tuft hair or the scruffy hair. So this one's also going to have to be this side. Huh. Oh, oh, but you don't like the dot eyes, I guess. This way. Uh-uh. Okay, so you go up the outside path. And that should be safe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it's eyes and hair. And I've not done anything with these eyes, so So it's back to experimentation. Okay by me. Okay, you're okay. Oh. Hmm. Welcome. That's good. How about this one? Oh. Tisk tisk. Alright, you're going up the, the outside. Mm, okay. You should be okay. Yep. And I don't know about the ball pair. Let's just try it. Uh -uh. This side. Have a good time. Yeah, got How them all. Fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide. Got them. Ah, uh, did you ever share the Zumbini merch they've shown off on the Facebook account? Wait, there's merch. There's Zumbini merch. I did not know about this. I've not seen this. Hold on a second. Um, please. Please hold. I need to investigate this immediately. <laughs> Zumbinis. Merge. Zumbinis. Facebook. Oh boy, I'm opening Facebook. <gasps> There's t shirts! Oh my goodness, this t-shirt. <laughs> okay, I would... I, I love Zumbinis. The first thing I have to say is I'm really glad this is listed as artwork, not vinyl. Because I, I would not wear these t-shirts, but I would love a Zumbinis t-shirt, but... <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh my goodness! Zumbinis t-shirts! This is from like the, the official account on Facebook. What else would it be? Bum 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 bum. Uh, Zumbinis is on, on mobile as well? I had no idea it was on mobile too, that is wild. My goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks like it's just t shirts they're talking about at the moment. Um, I hope they get redesigned, but if, if they do get redesigned into like a cool t shirt design. I want a Zumbinis t-shirt. That would be great. Like an official one. Yeah, there's always like plenty of unofficial merch and stuff and like artists making merch of things. But like official merch is so cool. Wait, there was a plush. I'm not seeing a plush anywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, no, I see it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's, there is a plushie. Oh my goodness, there was like a contest to win a plushie. I don't think it's like a a mass-produced thing. I think it's just like a single plushie that's been made as the reward for the thing. But that's so cute. That is so cute. I want one. <laughs> I want one. No, I want a bunch of them. I want loads of these plushies, but really small. And then just have them all in a big box and just have a pile of Zumbinis. I just want loads of them. That's so cute. This is so cute. I love this. Oh my goodness, the, the physical photo of it. That's so cute. 
Oh, I love that. Oh, I want one. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love that. I I want I want a plush. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you you mentioned that. I'm so glad I checked that. <laughs> that's so good. Hold on. Is there anything else on the Facebook page? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This this post using the the curls font. <laughs> Oh, it really is like I'm back in school again. Amazing. Oh, I love this. This is so good. Oh, they did like a hoodie giveaway as well. Oh, the hoodie design is actually really cool. Hold on, let me... I, I know I said I was going to get back to playing the game. I want to show this hoodie first. This is a really cool design. Look at that. That's a cool hoodie. I would love that. I would I would wear that. I would completely wear that hoodie. That is so good. Right, anyway, actually back to the game now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad it was only like a giveaway. Like, probably just one hoodie. If they mass produce those, I'd buy like three. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue. You've done quite well. It's How pizza delightful. time. Pizza time. <laughs> Off we go. Pizza. pizza for breakfast. Pizza with tea. There's three of them now. Pizza time. Yeah. So you know what I'm doing? I'm doing each thing individually. The tried and tested strategy. <laughs> Come on! More stuff! Something's wrong! Something's wrong! Yeah, well they don't like pineapple, but he does! How about some peppers? You want pepper? You want a pepper pizza? More, more! Something's wrong. You just want everything, I see. Something on that's not good for me. Well, that's fine. This one's not for you, apparently. I'm just... <laughs> not worrying about you yet. I wonder if there is, like, a... There's stuff on that A better way you're like. meant to do this. That topic. Because it does feel no. like you can just for do me? each thing individually. And then put them together at the end and make like, the perfect things. Because they, they always like different things to each other. Oh, that's all he wanted anyway. Okay. Because I feel like it... It feels like there should be more logic involved. I'm literally just doing one thing at a time. That topping. Not for me, thanks. <laughs> but if it's working, I will. I'll take it. How about cheese? You want some cheese? More toppings! There's something there I hate! Sorry. Yeah, he just wants like everything. Okay, oh well it covers it up so I have to remember what was on there. Okay, that does make it a bit more tricky, except not. Because it's everything except for that. <laughs> right, ice cream. More toppings! Okay, so with that, we know that this, this is what she wants. And then he wants these three with pineapple. Something must go! Hmm, little Because that's all that was left. <laughs> there we go, easy logic. And now we have cheese and pineapple and peppers and mushrooms. I would not enjoy this pizza. <laughs> but he will, and that's what matters. The perfect pizza! They're easy. Just master, master making pizza. <laughs> master chef. <laughs> Yeah, I made it. Oh my, you've done exceptional.
exceptionally well. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, I love that she just wanted ice cream and then like a plain pizza base with tomato on it. Like, <laughs> you could just ask for ice cream. It's okay. Well, so long as they're all happy, that's what I'm here for. And we made it to the campsite! Well done! You're adjusting to the trials yes, of the journey! I am. I'm adjusting Rest so up well. If you must. Push on if you dare! The Zumbinis still have much in store for them! Okay, so I think we go this way. The non fleens path. Because I keep going to the fleens. Zumbinis yeah. must have something in common with their neighbor to sit on Captain Cajun's ferry. Yeah, this one should be easy enough. They, they share a lot of traits. Bum, bum, bum. We'll start with you with the glasses because there's... Welcome to the boat. Now hurry yourselves up and find it. your... Fine, sit wherever you want to. I don't really care. Yeah. Here we go for you, and then we'll go for you. Here we go for you. Let's just do all the ones with ponytails. Ah, sure. Pink nose. Oh, this one also doesn't have much in common. Oh, let's go feet. Feet. You got the same eyes. Got the same eyes. There got you the same go. hair. You've got a propeller, and then all the rest have the same eyes, so that is easy peasy. Ah, easy sure. mode. They're all happy. Got them. See, for these kind of puzzles, what the way I like to solve them is I like to just start putting things down. Color. And then when they stop working, that's when I like start fiddling around and, and being like, okay, well that doesn't work. I'll take this one out. And restart from this point. Like, where where did it stop working? Oh, there's a straight line across there. That's so nice to see. That is so nice. Just the cyan line across. I love when it's easy. All right, there's pink down here too. Let's, let's go for the pink. Please go to the right. Thank you. And please go up again. Yes, okay. Right, is there another color path? There's a yellow at the bottom. Yes. Starting with the colors. Get them out of the way. And then I will start looking at the other things. <laughs> and listen to them bouncing though. I love the little springboard noise they make. It really is just like a, a spring. Right, let's try three bottles. Let's, uh, Pac-Man? There's a Pac-Man straight line across. Yes! Let's do the yellow first. There's a Pac-Man straight line across as well. That's a, that's a straight path. That is nice. I'll do that once the, the yellow's made it across. I'll start looking for other things too. There might be... Might be a diamond path? No. Flowers? Oh, almost. Almost a flower path. Oh no, if it goes that way. Hmm, how did I get to that flower path? Oh yeah, flowers that way, and then that way. And then that way. Yeah, there's a flower path. Let's try that. And hope it works. <laughs> Path. I just have to hope it actually goes the right way and doesn't end up like going up here and going back again. Yes, okay. Thank goodness. Follow the path to the end. Just keep going. Just keep going. Lovely, lovely creature. Let's also do the Pac Man one. Hee <laughs> hee. And then that was here. 
So we know that's a safe path too. Only a few more left. Yeah, this one doesn't intercept the pack van path. Over you go. Right, so there's there's three left. Three paths left. I'm thinking it's probably going to be the petal shapes. Three? I feel like the petal shape ones are the, the ones that I find it hardest to see. Yeah, that's a, that's a three. Three petal path. That is safe. I don't know what it is. Like, the colours, the flowers... Those ones I find so easy to just recognise the pattern and follow it. But when it's the, the number of petals, I find it really difficult to, like, focus on it with my eyes and keep track of where I am. <laughs> Over you go. Fabulous. I do it again. Woohoo! Right, so I need two more. Could there be a diamond path? Nope, nope, nope. Maybe. Nope. Oh, diamond? Diamond. Diamond path at the bottom. Yes! Okay, so there's one more. It's it's not the blues, it's not the reds. This is the only cross starting point, so it's not the crosses. So we know it's not any of these top ones. It's going to be either two petals or four petals. It's going to be four petals. It's going to start around here. Ba, 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 ba. Four petals. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah! Four petals starting here. And the diamond path again. Ha ha! Got them all! Yeah, go, go back and down and round. <laughs> Me, me second guessing now. No, that that is a path. That's a path. That's a path. They're safe. And then I just bring you back, and uh, we got the last one. <laughs> yeah, look at that little dance. I love their little leggies. They are such interesting creatures because they only have two feet. They don't have any arms or anything from the looks of it. They, they're just strange frog-like creatures, just with two legs that are springs. I, I think their legs literally are just springs, considering the, the, the sounds they make. <laughs> but they're safe. Make it over. They're also massive, or the Zumbinis are tiny, or both. They made it across! Yay. Let's go! See, I want the difficulty to increase for this part. Because I want to do these, these two puzzles specifically. I want to do these ones harder. If they can make I want to do them on a harder difficulty. Okay, lots of feet. Lots of matching feet here. Right, is there anyone who won't have matching feet? There's five propeller ones, so we want a propeller one to be one of the nose ones. One propeller for nose, and then we've got two of those. One, two, three, four, five. Odd number of these feet. So you can go in the nose squad. And then one, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, everything else is even. So the nose can just be any of them, so long as they have the same feet to not make it odd again. 
So the, the two propeller ones, two propeller noses, you can go on here. And now it's just matching up the ones with the same feet. Perfect puzzling! I actually logically deduced that one instead of popping them down until it worked. I actually thought that one through first, <laughs> which I don't usually do for this one. Well but look at that! Done. Easy! Easy peasy. We made it to camp! Good work! Again, yes. you've braved the challenges of the trip. Beware the new dangers of the mountains of despair. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah, I, difficulties increased here now as well. So now we've got to get some more Zumbinis over here so we're not leaving one alone so that I can do this on harder difficulty. <laughs> so off we go again. <laughs> From the beginning, let's go. I'm saving all the Zumbinis. They're all coming home. Challenge accepted. It really is such a shame I lost that one to the Fleen so early on, because it, it would be like perfect numbering otherwise. It's the only Zumbini that's been pushed back so far. Let's go. After days tossed to Right, we've got loads with glasses this time. We only had one with glasses before. Now we've got loads of them. Let's start with you. Nope. Okay. All right. I guess you're going that way then. I wonder what you don't like. Let's try. Hmm. There isn't one with just like two of the same features. Hmm. Yeah, I guess let's just try you. Is it the eyes? It might be the eyes. Let's try glasses at the top. Oh, nope. Okay. All right, you're going to have to go over here then. Okay, so not the eyes, the nose. Might be the nose. Let's try you. Okay, you can go over, okay? So we know it's not the feet, it's not the eyes. Feet and eyes are not the thing. I'm thinking probably noses. And maybe hair as well. So let's try. Hmm. I want to try one with a different hair. Let's try this. Okay, you're all right. It's, it's not the hair then. Pretty sure it's going to be the nose. <laughs> oh no! Okay. What is it for you then? Hmm. Okay. I should probably be making notes for this one as well, to be honest. Which I haven't been doing. Hold on, let me get my notepad out again. Top, bottom. Allergic to blue nose. And then we know it's not the red nose. Allergic to bob hair? Question mark? Maybe? It might be that? And the top one might be... 
allergic to eyelids or scruffy hair. Not sure. Let's try and narrow this down some more. Hmm. Interesting. Because I've only got two pins left. This might go terribly. I might not be able to figure this one out in time. I've not been paying enough attention to it. <laughs> I'm going to try sending this one up here and see if it's the eyelids. No, you're okay. Not the eyelids. I think the top one might be allergic to the scruffy hair. Possibly. So I'm going to test it by sending you across the bottom. Yes, I'm holding my breath as they go across. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I just found out what the toad puzzle becomes at a higher difficulty whilst looking for a toad dance gift. <laughs> forgotten how hard it gets. Oh, I've, I've forgotten how hard it gets too. I don't remember it. I'm excited to try it. I feel like it's going to be like combining elements and stuff. I'm I'm terrified for it and also excited. Yeah, every time they cross, I'm like having the moment like, are they, they going to make it? Will they make it across? Right, well, I think it's safe to say it's probably not eyes related. I don't think the eyes matter here. We've got a big variety of eyes on either side. I think the top is allergic to the scruffy hair. I think the bottom is allergic to the bob hair and possibly the blue noses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you here. Yes. And also you. Yes. Oh, this is nerve wracking. And then because I think this one might be allergic to the bob hair, I'm going to send you up here. Yes. And you? Yes, okay. Okay, the last ones. I can figure this out. You should be safe to go across the top. Now it's down to these ones. And I've, I'm thinking this one's safe to go across the bottom because each of the parts here have been on a Zumbini scent here. Like we've got the eyes, nose, all of the elements. So that should be safe. And this is harder because we haven't sent any tuft hair across. So I don't know which way would be safer. And this one. I'm going to try this one at the top because of the ponytail hair. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay! Yeah, it's the ponytail hair as well then. No, because I sent over a ponytail hair. What is that one then? A specific combination? Because like all of the elements here have been on ones that have been across like allergic to them but only in certain situations this one might not make it across i i genuinely don't know which side this one's going to be because they both have red nose ones they both have cyclops ones they both have spring ones and there hasn't been one with the tuft hair hmm I think I'm going to go with the top. No, I'm going to go with the bottom. Oh, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if you don't make it, buddy. No, you made it. Oh, thank Whoa, goodness. Oh, my. Whoa. You've done exceptionally well. Oh, that was lucky. Well. <laughs> carry on, carry on. That was extremely lucky. Hold on. I'm I really let my guard down then. I should have been making more notes on the ones that were getting across and the ones that weren't getting across so that I could figure it out, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but we made it. We made it just just about. Oh my goodness, look at that. Cool. Terrifying. 
scary, but we made it. <laughs> right, let's what see how mean they are this time. What did we do to deserve this? The floodgates are opened, it seems. Don't worry, there's only like hundreds more to go. Don't worry about it. All right, we start with you. Well, why not? Okay. Many try, few succeed. We've got a start. And the start is here. Kind of slow, ain't you? This one's okay with it, but this one was not. So one of the elements of this one, this gatekeeper does not like. Let's try figure out what it is by doing the exact same one, but with different feet. Is it feet? It's feet. <laughs> it's the feet. Okay. All right. You didn't like the shoes. Okay. That's all right. I get it. It's um, it's not to everyone's taste. I think they're quite nice shoes. Okay. Uh, let's try you. Hmm. Yeah, you can go in there. Let's try you. Sure. Have a good time. Yep, you can go in there. Let's try you. Yeah, as long as they don't have those shoes, they're fine, I guess. Right, now let's try different eyes. Oh no, not the shoes. Oh, oh okay. Nice try. You don't like this one. <laughs> Why? It's either the hair or the eyes. Let's see if it's the eyes. It's the eyes. Okay, this one doesn't like the eyelids. Not this side. This one doesn't like the eyelids, and we know this bottom one doesn't like the shoes, so you go there. <laughs> Step in. Oh, wait, no, that was... Was it denied because of the shoes? No, I'm... No, yeah, it's the eyes. And so this one... Are you good? <laughs> nice try. Okay. How about this way? Enjoy yourself. Okay. So it's not the hair. No, it's it, it is just going to be the eyes. The eyes are all going up on the right-hand side. I don't know why I sent them up that way. <laughs> I knew that would happen. I'm I need more monster. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's mean. I'm having more monster. Also, Nero Themis, hello! Good to see you again! How's it feel being responsible for the. <gasps> Wait, oh my goodness, a raid! There's a raid! There's a Moog raid! Hello! Oh my goodness, hi Moog! How's it going? How was your stream? Welcome, welcome! Hello! Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Just... Oh, have a, have a sip as as the raiders come in. Welcome on in. Welcome raiders. Welcome. How's it going? I hope you had a, a good stream. I hope you had a fun time. What were you What were you doing? I see just chatting. Wait, was it like a a specific stream? What were you doing? I'm curious. But uh, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. I really appreciate it. Uh, stream went well. Doing some video editing. Oh, that sounds fun. I am so bad at video editing. I, I don't know how anything works. <laughs> I hope it was productive. I hope you had a good time. But uh, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. And hello, raiders. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games. And I am currently playing an educational children's game from the 90s. <laughs> I'm playing a game called Zumbinis. And I, I played this game as a child, and I am convinced that this game is my puzzle-solving origin story. Like, I think this game is what made me love logic puzzles so much. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> it's a really, really fun game. But I, I, I started playing it as a joke. I, I thought it was going to be like a one-off stream thing, and then I'm done with it. But I've actually become really invested in this game. It's so fun. It's so fun. I love the puzzles. I love working things out. I love feeling smart. <laughs> but oh, I really appreciate the raid though. And if you have to head off and look after yourself, go and 
rest or get some food or drink, look after yourself, that is completely fine. But if you want to stick around, uh, I'm trying to get all of these little creatures to Zumbiniville, their new home, because their home was overrun by capitalists. <laughs> And I'll have to raid and run. That is completely fine. I know it's getting pretty late. But I'm so glad you could come and bring the raid over here. I really appreciate it. I hope you rest well. I hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday. But thank you so much. And also, Mogota Kupo, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. But yes, Nero Themis, I am so happy that I've gotten you addicted to cat fantasy. Because <laughs> I'm still playing it too. I'm I'm amazed at how long I've kept playing it because I feel like with a lot of gacha games and a lot of mobile games I'll get really invested in them for a while and then I'll kind of forget about them and just stop playing but I'm also still playing cat fantasy I'm, I'm still hooked on it and it's been like a month now <laughs> it's so fun and also it has cat girls so it's good but yes uh, anyone who wants to stick around from the raid um, I'm I'm just playing a, a children's educational game, but this is a game called Zumbinis, and the whole premise of the game is these are the Zumbinis. There's lots of them. They lived a great life. They had a great life. They were having like the time of their lives. They were making things. Everything was good. And then the bloats came along. The bloats said they could make everything better. They could give them more. They could earn money. They could do so much. And then basically they enslaved the Zumbinis and the Zumbinis ended up having a horrible life. So they have run away to escape the bloats. And they are now on a perilous journey to their new home of Zumbiniville. <laughs> and the aim of the game is to get all of the Zumbinis through the, the perilous puzzle lands to make their new home. And so far we've gotten quite a few over to their new home. We've built some really nice things over in Zumbiniville. It's, it's coming along really nicely. But there's still a lot of work to go, and there's these rude rocks who keep blocking the way from us. And everything changed when the Bloat Nation attacked. <laughs> and I, oh, just got the newcomer banner. Oh, I never got her. I never, I never like, spent much gacha on the, the newcomer banner in Cat Fantasy. I'm still hoarding loads of stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm waiting for a character I really like to come along, and then I've got, like... 40,000 gems to spend. <laughs> like, I'm just waiting. It's the way I play any game when I'm free to play. Playing like a gacha game of any kind. What I do is I will hoard my currency for months on end until there is one character I like and then I'll spend all of it. And then I just save up again until I have enough for like a guaranteed pull for the next character I want. Like, it's... I'm, it's the kind of thing that I would not have been able to do five years ago because I would not have had the self-restraint. <laughs> but now I'm patient. I am I like to just bide my time. I don't need to constantly pull on gacha to, to enjoy a gacha game anymore. I used to like have to be pulling as soon as I have enough for a roll. But I've gotten much better at saving like as a free-to-play player. <laughs> But yeah, Cat Fantasy is actually really generous with the SSR characters too. It's really nice. Like, I've gotten so many as well. Like, I want more. I want more duplicates so I can power up my main team. But they're really quite generous with the, the things they give away. It's very nice. Anyway, I think I just sent you there and it was denied. Was it? No. What, what did I do? You'll do. I did. Yeah, you didn't like it. I'm so sorry. You don't sound sorry at all. That's so mean. What is it you don't like then? Oh, one of the chosen few. <laughs> is it the feet? Oh, might be the feet. Because we know this one doesn't like the these feet. I guess you also don't like the spring feet either. So uh, I'm gonna try you. Go up this way? Yeah! <laughs> Safe. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't like the spring feet or the shoes. So they all have to go up the outside paths. How about you? You got dot eyes? I have no idea which side would like the dot eyes. 
Let's see if you like them. Hmm. Yeah, you're fine with that. <laughs> Alright, so more dot eyes. I guess you can go this way. Hmm. Have a good time. Yeah. Dot eyes. Yeah, uh, this one is picky with the eyes, and this one is picky with the feet. So knowing that, I have no idea where the propellers go. Okay, you don't like the propellers. All right. Not this side. Good to know. How about this side? Huh. Don't be shy. Yes, okay. And then... Oh, but then I think you don't like the the Cyclops eyes. So it's going to be this way. And then... Let's try this way. Oh, okay. Sorry, pal. You don't like the shades, that's all right. Wait, but you didn't like the spring feet. Oh, no, it was the middle one that didn't like the spring feet. You should be okay this way. Hmm. There we go. Got him! They're all safe. Well done, no wise <laughs> and trusted guide. Got him. Good of you to drop safe. in. We did it! It's pizza time! Also, Cubic Square 7, thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in, you're here just in time for pizza time. Pizza time, pizza. Give me pizza. P I C C A. Oh, come on, pizza. You know I love you. I'm pretty sure this is just like just doing one at a time. One at a time just works the best. All right. They're Hello. here. We are. We're here to provide you with a uh, pineapple. <laughs> pineapple? Come on. More stuff. You want more? There's something there I hate. Yeah, I know you two are gonna uh -oh. hate it because he likes There's it. There's something just... on that I don't want. That's fine. You don't have to have that one. Oh, you have to say this. I belong in cutie jail. My levels of cutie patootie are way too high. No, that's that's just my facade. That's my my cunning ploy to have people let their guard down, and then they're like, "You're so cute," and then I start rambling on about like the most boring stuff imaginable and everyone goes oh never mind <laughs> i start talking about uh, the the intrinsic mechanics in puzzle gaming and how specific logical deductive reasoning can work so well in certain situations and then and then you're like oh no that and you're like oh no where am i <laughs> What's something's wrong this is going to be another situation where he just has everything on his pizza and then you just have ice cream again, isn't it? It'd be so funny if it is the exact same. Yeah, yeah. Yep, you don't like that? There's something nope. there I want. Is that eat. your perfect pizza? More toppings. No, you want more. Okay. Please? Oh, at least you asked nicely. Wait. I think this one's the first one that actually said please. Okay, I want to make you a really nice pizza now. Because you asked nicely. The rest are just so demanding and rude. But you actually said please. I, I like this one Something the most. Must go. That topping? No. Oh, you like that? More toppings. Please? That's such a nice please too. It's like the little like, ooh, ooh, the, for, the, for the finger up like, pretty please. <laughs> Uh, I won't argue myself out of this. You're a trained agent of the Federal Cutie Regulatory Agency. Oh my goodness. Funded by the United Cuties of the Americas. Well, I'm not in America, so, um, good luck. There's an ocean in the way. Catch me if you can. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm not there. Foiled you. Right, who wants cheese? There's stuff on that I don't like! You don't like cheese? That's fine. That topping? Not for me, thanks. Oh, something's wrong. Sorry. Okay, with one more I can figure this out, I think. Oh no, none of them like cheese. Okay. All three of them want a pizza without cheese. I cannot imagine something that. Something on that I don't like! 
I always have mm. the most cheesy pizza. Wait, you just want a scoop of ice cream? <laughs> a plain pizza base and a scoop of ice cream. You really just keep going for ice cream every time. Oh my goodness. Okay, last one. Let's see. Let's see who wants the ice cream. If either of them do. More, 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 more. Yeah, you want the ice cream. Yeah, I've got this. Uh -oh. Also, Flint, There's hello! Something on that I don't want. There's three of them now. Yeah, but they're, they're so easy to please. They just... Like, this is just a scoop of ice cream. I didn't want anything else. None of them want cheese. Not a single one of them wants cheese on their pizza. But that's okay. I'll have all the cheese. <laughs> oh, my... Pizza. Yeah, that's your pizza. And now I'll make your pizza because you asked so nicely. You actually said please. Either. I really am just loving the tomato base Yeehaw! with just a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> pizza party! Pizza party! Let's go! Anyway, goodbye. I'll take this one with me. Quite well. I'm, I'm taking the cheese pizza with me. <laughs> and we made it to Believe the campfire. Believe what you see, little Zumbinis. You yeah. have arrived at Shelter Rock, here to relax and wait for your friends. Nice. I made it through on very hard, without losing a single Zumbini. I'm quite proud of that. Right, now I'm gonna I'm, I wanna try this on a harder difficulty. So we're taking the top path. I wanna I wanna go top path. Let's see how much harder it gets. I'm ready. I'm ready to prove myself. <laughs> it looks as if the kind captain has upped the ante. Oh I, I think this is where the, the chairs are being moved around. I think this is a situation of like, well now you've gotta be next to all of your neighbors and they're like in force or something. <gasps> yeah, there's two rows now. So you've got to have something in common with all of your neighbors. Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> right, so what do I have the least of shades? So start with you. Well, I'll sit wherever you want to. I don't you really can go care. There. You can go there. The one that has things in common with both sides here. You. Hmm. Hairstyle. And eyes. Eyes. There you go, you got it. Okay. Feet. Hmm. Hmm, this is going to be a trickier one. Yeah, look at the art. It's wild to think someone worked on this many years ago. I know, it's so... It's so amazing to think of, like, how long ago this game came out and all of it has been so beautifully remastered. It's so good. Wait, what's the puzzle here? The puzzle here is everyone has to sit on the boat, but they have to have a feature in common with their neighbour. So, for example, this one here... Anyone that sits next to this one has to have either the same hair, or the same eyes, or the same nose, or the same feet. Which gets trickier at this point, because like, for example, this one has the feet All in common board. here, the I'm eyes in common bored. here, the eyes in common here. And as it gets closer to the end, I'm gonna start realizing I don't have enough to match up with each other. And start making a mess of things. I think I can do that with nose. And this can have the feet and eyes in common. And then if I can use the eyes in common for a lot of it, I think having the same eyes will make things easier. There you go, you got it. If I do that, this one's got the same eye. A uh, green nose and glasses. This one has the same feet. Ooh. Oh, mohawk. Mohawk in common with both of them. 
Oh, <gasps> same feet. Ah, and dot eyes. Oh, sure. look at that. Look at that. First try. First try. I didn't have to move a single one. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love when it works out. <laughs> oh, I was fully expecting to get stuck at the end and have to start wiggling them around a bit, but I'm so glad I didn't have to. <laughs> Off you go! Travel on, brave adventurers, that wonder of the wetlands. Huh? Bruno, Ooh. the shape swapper, has a special tool for swapping lily pads. Now Ooh. they'll need to make their own paths across. Oh, I don't remember this. I genuinely don't remember this part. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Hi, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to start with the ones that are already here. There's already a blue path. I immediately see a blue path. Starting going across with the blue and also the pink. There's a pink path here. I'm starting with that because we can do that without using the wand. Do as much as I can before I start swapping things. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is... How's this gonna go? Oh. This hurts your brain. It's... This one's... It feels quite straightforward at this point. Like, it looks like a lot when you look at this. But this one is actually much more simple than it seems. Because, like, you see it, you see just a bit of everything. Like, there's so many colors, shapes, patterns, it's like everything. It's very intimidating to look at. But what you have to do is you have to just look at one element. Like, instead of getting overwhelmed by everything, you go, okay, I'm ignoring everything except for the colors of the things on top. Not paying attention to any of the shapes, just following the colors. With that, we can see there's a blue path along here. With that, we can see that there's a pink path along here. We just disregard every other element. We just focus on one. And then, for example, when we get to the next point we go okay there's flowers we'll follow the flowers the flowers can go along here we've got a straight path to the edge with the flowers as well we can send those across and when you it the hard part is like trying to block out the other elements because i always get overwhelmed like mostly with the the shapes of the the petals I, I find it so hard to focus on the shapes of the petals, but when you just like lower it to just a single, single element, it becomes way easier to, to manage. <laughs> it's still very intimidating though. There you go. Right, so with that, we've gotten the, the blue and the pink out of the way. They are done. And there are not enough red to make a red path, I don't think. And there's not enough yellow to make a yellow path, so we can just immediately discount the, the yellow. We're not going to be using that one. That frog's not helping us. Not with these. I don't remember how this works. I'm scared to click it. Right, let's see if there's anything else I can do before I start clicking things. Pac-Man path. Pac-Man path. The, the Pac-Man shape of the lily pad going across here. That's a path. That's a path that can be done immediately. There's almost a cross path as well. I bet that's going to be what this is for. We can make a path with the crosses if we just replace this one. If we just swap this one with something else, we'll be able to make a cross path. But I'm going to do both of the Pac-Man first. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can with what we have here before I start clicking things and maybe breaking stuff. Oh, I think there's a three path as well. Threes. The three petal lily pads? Yes, there's a path with the threes. So I can do that as well. Nice! Because with this, we can get half across, and then it's just about the next half. Right, can I do a four? There isn't... 
the, this is the only four starting point. I don't think we're going to be making a four path because there's there's one four here and then there's one four here and then a few over here. There's not enough to make a path, I don't think. But uh, we can do the threes again. They are fart-powered frogs. It's a spring. That would be so weird if fart sounded like that. I'd be terrified. <laughs> It's so funny because to me, it reminds me of like, you know, when you get like a ruler on a desk and you kind of do the little bang against a desk with it. It's like a very tiny little ruler desk spring noise to me. <laughs> it reminds you of a tongue fart noise. I... I'm trying to imagine it. I can't. Imagine how to make that kind of noise. It feels so very springy to me. <laughs> That's so interesting. Oh, I didn't do the other flower path too. I didn't finish with the flowers. Because we have the straightforward flower path here. That just goes to the end. Yeah. Oh, I wonder, do I have a ruler? I don't actually know if I own any rulers anymore. I don't draw physical lines. I want to I want to see if I do. Do I do I have any Yeah, I don't own a single ruler. This is wild. Also, hello, Sir Carrad. Welcome to the stream. Welcome on in. You'd like to introduce yourself? Are you boring? I I doubt you are. Social skills? That's fine. You don't need them. Uh, but you're loyal if you feed me and will never leave you because you need the food. Also, like pets and cuddles. I, I'll feed you. Would you like some gummy worms? <laughs> but welcome in. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, don't worry about social skills. I also don't have any. It's fine. You don't need them. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to Zumbinis! I was just trying to find a ruler because I wanted to make a ruler springing noise on the side of my desk. Um, <laughs> that's about what you can expect from my streams, I guess. <laughs> just be like, so what are you doing in this stream? I'm like, I was playing a children's educational game from the 90s, but now I want to find a ruler so I can make springing noises. <laughs> There's gummy worms! Oh yeah, do you want some? Hold on. Would you like a gummy worm? Open. Ah, here you go. I'm, I'm smooshing it through my monitor. I hope it makes it through. <laughs> but I love gummy worms. I have such a soft spot for gummy worms. I like most worms, to be honest. Everyone always acts like worms are such awful things. Like the whole, like, would you still love me if I were a worm? I'm like, yeah, worms are great. What are you talking about? Of course I would. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I have a worm on a string, off off the string, with me right now, probably says a lot. <laughs> I really don't have a ruler. This is wild. I'm just here like there has to be something I could use as a replacement ruler to make a springy noise against my desk. I can't find anything. I can't find anything. What about this random picture holder thing that I can... Can I make a springy noise with this? Let's test. Not quite. That, that didn't quite work. Hold on. Oh, that kind of worked. That that kind of works. It it sounds really violent against my desk, but it kind of works. <laughs> That'll do. That's that's the closest I can get to it. <laughs> I love it. You, oh, you don't like gummy worms? 
Oh, um, I also have dinosaur nuggets. Do you like those? <laughs> dinosaur nuggets are also available here. Also, Monster Energy. Although, um, I, I mostly just drink the Monster Energy myself. There might not be any, any left, but, uh, that's okay. Right, what was I doing? I got so distracted trying to find a ruler. <laughs> I can't believe I don't own a ruler. Like, I think back to, like, when I was in school, when I was a child in school, I would always have every single piece of stationery. Like, every year before going back to school, my biggest priority was getting a new pencil case, getting a new stationery set, getting a matching ruler, a matching pen, a matching pencil. I love stationery. I, I, I would always get so much. I'd also, also get, like, 12 notebooks. <laughs> Also, Aira Hart, hello, welcome! Dinosaur Nuggies and Monster. Yeah, it's it's like the best meal. The meal of champions. <laughs> welcome, welcome! I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Welcome to um I was playing a puzzle game and I got distracted looking for a ruler, which I don't own. But I managed to make a, a vague springy noise. Oh, what was that? That was how did what? <laughs> Oh, that kind of works. That's a cool sound, actually. I like that one. Okay, that, that was a pretty good spring. I'll take that. That's that's my frog jump noise. <laughs> right, now, is there anything else I can do with the, the parts that I hear? Yeah, I, I haven't sent the flowers over again. There's a flower path. They can just go. And then I'm going to have to start thinking about the swap keys. And what I'm going to have to swap to get the rest of them across. Uh, I got new stuff every year. I Only because I, like, that was my treat. Like, my parents would be like, would you like something nice? Would you like something lovely? And I'd be like, I want the, the new matching set of pencils. <laughs> And my parents would just probably just shake their head, just like, okay, our, our strange nerd child, here you go, have some more pencils. <laughs> but I just, I really love, like, matching sets of things. I'm such a sucker for anything, like, if it's a matching set, anything that's, like, stuff matching, like, if it's, like, stationery or outfits, like, matching outfits or something, I love matching things. I, I love it. I love it so much. I'm such I'm such a sucker for like anything matching. Which is why at some point I wanna like have like a VTuber costume that's like a matching set with friends. I wanna I wanna have like matching outfits. <laughs> I love it. I think my favorite is when things are matching but color coded. So it's like the same thing, but each person has like a different color. I love that kind of thing. I love color coding things. <laughs> I'm just here like, I will be pink or teal or white if I have to be. I, I just want to match. <laughs> I love matching things, though. But yeah, oh, remember begging for a fountain pen for school as a kid, as an adult, you know? No, that was a dumb idea. I, uh, I still remember the first fountain pen I got. Um, the first fountain pen I got was the first time I realized that I write like a weirdo. I do not hold a pen like an, a, like most people do. I kind of grasp it in my fist really weirdly. And I'd gotten so used to writing the way I write, not thinking there was anything wrong with it, because like my handwriting is great, uh, everything was fine. And then I got a fountain pen, and I tried to write with it, and because of the way I hold my pen, the angle was wrong and the ink wouldn't come out. <laughs> So I was so stuck for the longest time. Like, I don't know how to, why my, my pen's not working. My pen isn't working. Can you help me? And then the teacher would pick it up and just write a perfect sentence. Like, it is working. What are you talking about? And it took so long to realize it was because of like the angle I was holding my pen at. And I had to like relearn how to write with a fountain pen. But my handwriting was so messy that I kind of just ended up having like an ink handwriter pen, which was just like a, a tiny, tiny felt tip type pen. I'm pretty sure it was literally just called handwriter, the name of the pen. <laughs> like everyone else was using the fountain pens and I was like, well, like, oh, no, okay, I can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm silly. 
but uh, I'd rather just keep with the way I learned how to write and still have neat handwriting than like retrain myself on how to write again. Because like I was like ten years old at this point. No, ten. No, it was like six or seven, I think, actually. And we were learning how to do joined up writing for the first time. <laughs> It was, yeah, I remember it because it was like, okay, now we're learning how to do joined up writing. Time to get a fountain pen. And I would just be there with ink on my hands and nothing coming out on the page. Like, I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Yeah, and spilling ink cartridges is such a, such a nightmare too. Especially. Also, Suzume, I see you say so a magical girl outfit, but my magical girl outfit is just me. Like, I'm not part of like a squad. It's it's just me on my own. I'm I'm the only one who has the the Sandra Monster Energy powers. <laughs> see, what I need to do is I need to summon more Eldritch Worms on Strings from the Abyss and recruit more magical girls. Clearly. <laughs> But yeah, oh, during days that you didn't need books, you just put a notebook under your arm, put a pen in your pocket, and that was the school equipment for the day. Ah, oh, see, I was always just, I would overpack for school. Like, I'm, I'm thinking mostly of primary school at this point. Secondary school, I ended up, like, ditching a lot of it because I couldn't be bothered to carry it around with me. But when I was in primary school, I was always so excited to have, like, a full pencil case. And I would have, like, a cute design on the pencil case. And then I'd have a cute design on the ruler and the pens and pencils also, and I would have a tiny little rubber to match it as well, like a little eraser, and I would never use it because I didn't want it to get smaller. So I, it completely defeated the point of having it. I just wanted the set. I never actually used it. Yeah, oh, I make so good jokes and I don't read them. Well, the, when, there's, when I'm having a conversation, it's easy for me to miss things in chat, but... <laughs> But I'm sorry if I do miss messages, but also sometimes sometimes I don't know how to reply to a thing. So I, I apologize if I miss it I miss a message, but uh sometimes like if, if I don't get a joke, um I try and save face by just pretending I didn't see it instead of being like, I'm I don't I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I've always been pretty lucky to have pretty good handwriting. Like, I like how my handwriting looks. I think it's quite neat. Sometimes it kind of goes all over the place when I'm writing very quickly. But if I take my time, I can make my handwriting look really nice. Also, Lumsev, hello! Thank you for the hydrate. I will have a sip of my drink. My actually fizzy monster for today. <laughs> I actually got to open a fresh can today. Little welcome, welcome. But yeah, the pleasure of just owning stuff. I I just, I've always just been like a collector. Like I used to say I'm a hoarder, but I don't think, I feel like that's an unfair term to use because I don't hoard things. Like if I don't want or need something, I'll just get rid of it. I'm a collector. I like owning things that make me happy. Like I don't just keep any old random tat. I, I keep things specifically that I like. And if I get nicer things, I will replace them, so I wouldn't consider myself a hoarder, but I'm, I'm definitely a collector. I love collecting things. I like having physical objects. <laughs> I'm like a, a little dragon with my treasure. I'm just like, having things makes me happy, so I have them. Like, the, um, the amount of, like, tiny little figures I have on my desk. Like, I've got loads of, like, tiny little plastic figures and little toys and, like, little crystal cats. Like, I got a crystal cat for my birthday and it's on my desk now. I have so many little trinkets, but I love them because every time I look at them, I'm just like, oh, look at that. And it makes me smile. Ah, uh, I can miss all your jokes. You write them out of excitement and they're all bad. <laughs> no, but sometimes bad jokes are the best, though. Sometimes the bad ones are the funniest. Like, I'm the kind of person who can hear, like, a really clever joke and just be like, yeah, that's a clever joke. But then you show me an image of, like, a buffet where the spinach is labelled as spinch, and I will just keel over laughing. <laughs> like, my sense of humour does not make sense. Some of the things that I find funny are just... I'll end up laughing, and then as I'm laughing, I'm like, why, is, why, is, why am I finding this funny? This isn't funny. Why am I laughing? <laughs> but I, I love puns. I love puns a lot. 
Oh, your handwriting's weird. As soon as school gave the option to ditch writing in cursive, you did it immediately. Yeah, it's with me too. Like, I learned how to, like, we just called it joined up writing in school. Like, joined up letters. And I was learning cursive. And as soon as I finished primary school and moved to secondary school, I just stopped doing that. And my handwriting looked so much nicer. Like, it, it just, I, I developed my own style, I think, like, as I was writing. Going through secondary school, I went through several periods of, like, trying to actively change my handwriting because I didn't think it was, like, cute enough or cool enough. And I remember, like, I've, I've still got notebooks from when I was, like, 12 years old. And every single letter, every time I wrote the letter I, I drew a little heart on it. And I would write my A's like in the way a typed A is with like the little hat on the top. And like I fully changed my handwriting style to try and make it like the cute bubbly style with hearts everywhere. And it took me so long to write anything that I kind of just went, this isn't worth it. And then I just started writing normally and I just ditched all of it. <laughs> but it helped me realize like what is most comfortable for me to write. And like some of the way I write things, like I'm, I'm trying to think of an example. The way I do the letter F, the way I do an F, hold on, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna put the elevator music on for a second, I'm, we're, we're having a slight interlude from puzzle gaming at the moment. We're talking about handwriting now. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get my paint window up. Where is it? Where's my paint? Where's my Microsoft paint window? I had you. Here you are. Here we go. Microsoft paint window. Uh, most people I find when they're writing the letter F, what they'll do is... Hold on. Where's my pen? There we go. What they'll do for the letter F, like, if this is, like, the line... Oh, that was a great line. Uh, pretend this is a straight line. I... I <laughs> okay, that'll do. What most people do, like, when they have the line is they'll do an F that's, like, kind of like that. Or they'll go like that to draw an F. I don't go below the line with an F anymore. When I write, I do the F on the line. So it's like on the line for me. Like this is really messy because I'm doing it with a mouse. But all of my Fs, I, I, ne I never make them go below the line anymore. I used to. I don't know when that changed. But I just stopped doing huh? Fs like this. I just, I just ended up doing it like this instead. And I don't actually know how that happened or why. But it's something that I've that I'm always aware of when I see other people writing and they write their Fs like this. And I'm like, oh, I didn't do that. I just go, whoop. <laughs> Mine's just hanging out up here. Like, coffee. That, that was huge. I didn't mean to do it that big. Coffee. But yeah, when I was in school, when I was trying to make my handwriting cute, like I, I write A's like this. I just do it like that, like a regular A. I learned how to like write an A like this to try and make my handwriting cute. So I'd be like with every single thing I wrote, I would make everything super rounded, super curvy, trying to make it like that kind of cutesy style. But that's not how I write. It's it took me so long to do it. Like, I was trying to do it because I thought it looked good. But it took me so long that I, I wasn't getting all my notes down. <laughs> so I just... I just ditched it after a while. I wonder if I have anything that's like an example of my handwriting. Yeah, didn't it eat up needless time during exams, though? It sure did. But uh, thankfully, that was something I didn't really have a problem with. Like, when I did exams in school, I... I would just like zoom through them really fast and then spend like an hour checking them because I'd always worry about the time. So I'd go really, really quickly because I didn't want to run out of time. But then I'd finish it so quickly that I'd have so much spare time and I was like, I, I didn't have to rush this much. 
But uh, I, I just worry when there are time constraints. But yeah, the, the handwriting was not a smart idea. It was the idea of a tween who, ha who thought it would be great and didn't think about the consequences. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can find... I, I bet I have my old notebook somewhere. I, I hope I can find something. I want to find like something I wrote down with that handwriting and then like compare it to my current handwriting. I think it'd be really interesting. Anyway, let's turn the elevator music off. Let's go back to the game. I, I got very distracted there. Sorry, it's that's the fun of a Leary stream. You never know when I'm gonna stop playing the game for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, started ignoring lines years ago. Honestly, yeah, I'm I don't really follow the lines very well when I'm writing things down on lined paper. Uh guess you kinda skip the bottom wiggle of an F but still go below the line. Yeah, it's it's interesting how it's different for everyone. But uh, another thing as well, like when I when I would write a T, I I used to do it with like a curve at the bottom. Now it's just straight lines. It's just like a cross for me now. Derailed by the sound of a frog jumping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got distracted by making the frog sound, and then it became stationary, and then it became talking about school. Then it became handwriting. It, it had like a logical progression of conversation. <laughs> Anyway, where, what was I even doing here? I don't know. Oh, is there a diamond path already as well? There's a diamond path. Yeah, there's a diamond path. We go this way. There's diamonds. So then I'm only going to need to change something to make two paths. So if there's something I can do that creates two paths... That would be really good. I wonder if I can do that. I'll have a look afterwards, because I'm, I'm thinking, like, the obvious thing is, like, all the X's here. All I'd have to do is replace this to make an X path. But then I'm wondering if I only get one swap? I don't know if I get one swap or if I'm going to get more swaps. I don't remember anything. Well, chat wasn't exactly innocent with going off topic. Well, I I feel like that's the joy of streaming, though. Like, it's it's only off topic if I'm not talking about it. <laughs> like, if I start talking about something, that is then the topic. So it's on topic. So technically, this is my home. I can talk about what I like. We're never off topic. We're fine. <laughs> Everything's good. All right. So what do I have left here? I don't think it's going to be reds. The reds are all way too scattered. I don't think it's going to be cyan. The cyan is also way too scattered. There's not enough yellow, full stop. So it's not going to be the color ones. So we've got two leaves, four leaves, and the crosses. I think we can make a cross path. The question is, can we make a two or four leaf path? I don't think it's going to be four. Like, there's a four leaf here and here, but there's not enough of them. So I think if we are going to make another path, it will be a two leaf one. At which point... <gasps> this one. This one? No, not that one. Hmm. I don't know if I can do multiple swaps. I'm scared. <laughs> Because, see, I'm thinking, like, if, if I can swap this with something that has a cross but needs a two to continue the path to make, like, a two path. Because, like, if I'm looking here, like, this one's in the way, but... Oh, here? If we go two, 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 moving that, we could continue along the twos. But then it stops here again. No, I, d I don't think it works like this. Man, I don't even remember how this puzzle works. <laughs> hmm. Much to think about. Oh, if you lived in this world and had to deal with this, you'd go crazy. <laughs> I have a lot of patience. I think it's part of the reason why I'm so good at puzzle games. Um, a lot of people, like, if they get stuck on a puzzle, I think they would get frustrated and want to give up. 
I am extremely patient with puzzles. I am happy taking however long I need to figure something out. Like, if, if it takes me ages to find something out, I'm fine with that. I'm completely okay with that. <laughs> I'll take as long as I need to. Oh, wait. Two path here? Oh, no. Oh, y yes? <gasps> two path here? Two path. Path of twos is here. Just broken up by this one. Hmm. It's so almost a two path. Oh, can I replace two of them? That's going to be the question. How many will it let me replace? Hmm. See, I'm so scared to do something in case I... In case, like, I only have one chance and then it messes up my one chance. And I can't do it anymore. Uh, I give you a friend that would tell stories while you nap on their lap energies. I feel like that's the kind of energy I have, yes. I am that kind of person. I will just be like, come on, just settle down. I will... I'll read you a story. This is the story of a man named Stanley. <laughs> but no, that, that's me. I feel like I'm... I wouldn't call myself like a mother friend because I'm I have like anti maternal energy. I'm I, I I would not make a good mother, but I think I have like aunt energy. Like I'd be the kind auntie who you see every now and then who like just treats you with presents and you have a nice time and then I'm I just whisk myself away. <laughs> the the aunt who has loads of cats. <laughs> I oh, wish you had this kind of patience. Honestly, it's something that I've, like, developed over time. Like, when I think of myself when I was younger, I had no patience for anything. I was always rushing. I was always so, so busy with everything. I wanted everything done immediately. I had no patience. But as I've gotten old, <laughs> as I've gotten old... Um, I've realized that time is fake, and therefore I don't worry about time anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's me, the classic wine aunt, except instead of wine, I'm, I'm drinking a can of Monster. <laughs> no, I do like wine as well. I am a wine fan. Mostly rosé. Rosé wine. Wow, what, what a surprise I have the pink one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so scared. I don't know how this works. I'm so terrified of messing it up. Ah. Ah, because I think, like, putting a, a cross here would work. But then it's like, I want to make a, a two-prong path as well, because I think I could. Like, we got the twos here, two down to here, two, two, two. Two, two, right up to here. Like, could I replace both of these? How does this work? Ooh. I'm so scared. Hold on, I'm gonna have a look at the hints and see what the hints say. Yeah, the fairy has left his magic wand. Use it to complete the toad's paths across the lily pads. Click on the wand, click on one lily pad, click on a second lily pad, they will swap positions. Can I use it multiple times then? Let's see. Let's try. If I swap that with that, I can use it multiple times. This is so much easier. Look! Look at that. I've just I've I've made the path. I've made. Uh oh! Have I made the two prong path? Not quite. Hmm. Now I have. Like, if I... That's just, like, the cross path now. And then the two leaves goes like that and that. Um. Oh, no. That and that. 
and that. I can just do this as many times as I want. That's that's so easy. I was so worried about this. <laughs> I was so worried. That's actually so easy. This is so funny. Also, Sparrow, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, make the frog do a backflip. I'll try, I'll try. Let's see. Do a backflip. Do a cool trick. Do a cool trick, Frogorino. I thought there was going to be like a limit to this. I didn't realize I could just use it infinitely. That's so much easier. <laughs> oh, monster in a wine glass. I would do that. As long as you don't mix monster with wine, that would... I feel like that would not only be bad for your health, but also taste horrific. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> but no, I'll, I'll I'll just have the wine and then have the monster, on separate days probably. <laughs> like if I'm drinking alcohol, I'm not having an energy drink usually. I'm not a fan of like Jaeger bombs and stuff. Ah, oh, so easy. Did a dance close enough? I thought they would like do the backflip into there, but I do like their little dance. But uh, welcome, welcome! Um, I was trying to make the springy noise earlier, and... Oh, where, where the springy? Oh, I was trying to make, like, the springing noise, and as I was doing that, it made me realize I don't own a ruler. I was trying to find a ruler to, like, spring against my desk, and I realized I don't own a single ruler. <laughs> but I did manage to make an approximation of it by doing this. Oh, not quite. Yeah, that's the closest I can get. It's not quite there, but I tried. <laughs> right, so yeah, and I've just made the two path as well. Did I? Yes, I did. It's up this way. Let's see if it works. It's probably going to turn around multiple times because it's going the wrong way. But it will make it across eventually. Nice! So yeah, that one was actually way easier than I thought it was. I was fully overthinking that. Okay, now go back. Now go back. Go back. And now go up. Go up this way. And up. Yes. And now you go to the end. Fabulous. Got him. You'd kick their butts so hard so they'd move faster? That would be mean. What if you kicked their butt and then they said, well, you're being so mean, I'm not going to help you anymore, and then you got stranded? Like, they are doing us a favor here. They don't have to carry the Zumbinis across. They could happily just sit alone in the water. They're doing us a favor. I'm not going to be mean to them. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to move that one that was making them go down. Just so it doesn't go down. There we go. And over you go. Bam, bam, bam. They're doing us a favor. They literally are. We're stuck on this side of the river. If they were not helping us across, we'd be stranded. They are not asking for anything in return here. They are just taking us across out of the goodness of their hearts. So I'm not going to be mean to them. Also, they're so cute. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Right, whoa, that one, whoa. That one just flew this way. That, what? Well, anyway, everyone's across. Let us continue. <laughs> the classic overthinking stuff so hard the difficulty raises by three stages. Look, I just wanted to make Do sure... Zumbinis will get a rise out of these stone hexes if they, they can, can make, make the right, right connections. connections. Yeah. I wanted to make sure before I clicked anything, just in case I made a mess of things. But I'm glad I didn't. Oh, now we've got like three in a row. This shouldn't be too difficult. So we find one with the same hair and eyes. Ba, 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 ba. If we do this one in the middle, and this one has the same eyes, and this one, that that noise scared me. Then I thought I got it wrong for a second, but it was just the connection happening. It was just the sound. <laughs> I 
thought I got it wrong. I was so scared. Right, this is going to be my uh, plop them on. If it's wrong, I just try again afterwards. But I'm just going to start by just like, you've got the same hair, you've got the same nose. On you go. And then if it's wrong, I just wiggle them around. All right, you can go there. You have the same eyes. You have the same feet. We need three with the same feet here. Oh, we've got them. We got three with the same feet here. And then these ones. Oh, they all. We need three with the same eyes. Can I swap one of these? Hmm. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this, this, um, didn't work. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay, because I just rework it. Put them back. Right, because this needs to be three with the same eyes, so I should probably start with that. How many Zumbinis did I save so far? Quite a few. Um, I don't actually remember off the top of my head because I've got so many in various places. <laughs> but I can check once I've done this puzzle because when I've done this, I'll be able to go back to the map. But if I go back to the map now, I will abandon these Zumbinis to their fate and they will all run back to camp. So I got to get them through here first. Right, I'm going to just take all of these off to start with. Right, three with the same feet. We got them on there. Three with the same eyes. The easiest solution is the glasses ones. Because we have quite a few of those. Right, now I can figure out the rest. At least two then? Yes, at least two. More than three, even. <laughs> right, so same noses. Oh, if I do this, and then same nose, and then same hair, that zap gets me every time. And then I'm thinking this one? Oh, this one is the same eyes one. Same eyes and then same hair. So I'm going to put you in the middle and then same eyes, same hair, and then same feet, same eyes, yes, and then you go, you, you go on your own, you're fine. I got him! Hip hip zombie! Sorted! <laughs> Got him! God, yeah, I love the music for this game. But yeah, oh, I love that it's unlocking memories. Good work! Again, you brave the I challenges! Did. So uh, I've gotten 64 Zumbinis to Zumbiniville at the moment. There's 47 at this camp, there's 17 at this camp. 272 back at the start. <laughs> so I'm making really good progress. Also, thank you for the hydrate, Juni Flow! I will have a sip of my monster. And also the posture check. I will have a big stretch. Whew. But yeah, this game is so fun. I, I didn't expect to have as much fun with it as I am. I Because I... It's like, it's always a thing where it's like, oh, this is a children's game, so am I going to enjoy it? Is it going to be too easy? It's still genuinely tricky. <laughs> it's so fun. I love it. Right, well, I've got a lot of Zumbinis here, so I should probably do another trek to Zumbiniville. Let's get some more through. So I think I'm just going to bring this lot along again. Wait, what if I just swap, like, one of them? Like, I'll put you in there, and... I'll bring you out. Hehe. <laughs> Swapsies. And the rest are all just 
sitting in their little camp, having a nice time. But yeah, it's such a fun game. It's like, honestly, listening to like the little jingles and the narration, it brings back so many memories. Like, it's it's so interesting how much of it like I'd forgotten and then I hear the little tune and I'm like, oh, I remember this. I remember it now. I love it. Right, let's get going. It's time to be smart. Hee <laughs> hee. Throughout these gloomy mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. Ooh. Right, what have we got this time? Ooh. We got something green nose, something yellow nose, something. So, it's time to figure this out. Oh, don't feel like you're watching a game. Feel like you're watching an old cartoon. Yeah, it's... I love the style. I, I've got such a soft spot for, like, point-and-click games with this cartoony style. Where it's, like, it's got, like, the shaded backgrounds and stuff, but then, like, the 2D animated sprites on top of it. I really love that style. I want more games with that style. It's so fun. It works so well. Right. Let's figure out... Right, I'm going to start by putting a green one here. That is safe. There's only two with yellow noses. So, one, two, three, four with pink noses. One, two, three with red noses. One, two, three, four with blue noses. So it's going to be four, three, or four at the end. So this spot is safe to put a yellow. There will definitely be a yellow there. I just don't know if the other yellow is going to be this side or this side. So now with the greens, there's three greens. So it's going to be a three or a four at the start. So this can also be green. And now I make a wild guess. Nope. First one is four. First one's a four. Got it. But yeah, look at the detail on the statue, though. It's amazing. But me too. The, the style of games where you can tell what's meant to be interacted with. There's something so great about, like, playing a point-and-click game. You click on a bookshelf, and there's loads of, like, faded books, and then one that's, like, outlined and saturated, and you're like, oh, I wonder which book I'm looking at. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much because I'm really bad at spotting things. So when it's like spotted for me, it's very nice. Right, so this is a four and then either side of this is either a three or a four. So let's see if it's blue. It's not blue. This is blue. Oh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. It's fine. It's fine. So that means the blues are at the end. So with that, we know that the blues are here. So now the other yellow is going to go here. And then the three goes here. So that's the reds. So the reds go here because that's the three. And then the four pinks go at the start. And they are in order. Haha. <laughs> How Got fortunate for Zumbinis that you This one gets so guide. much trickier. Like... It's so funny because this level on the easiest difficulty, it just tells you the order. It has all five of them on there. <laughs> it's the easiest thing, it's not even a puzzle. But then when it starts removing them, it's it gets like genuinely thought provoking. Like you have to actually think about it a bit more. You have to use your logic for the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Thank you, kitty cat. Pet cat. <laughs> yes. Back to the crystals. Okay, need one with a spring. Need one with that hair and eyes. That'll do it. Hair eyes, no spring. Hair eyes, no spring. Magic! Oh, 
about. Like, this isn't the game for you because your brain isn't brainy enough. But you could totally see your younger self having a blast with it. Oh, you grew more impatient with age. I was the opposite. I, I became much more patient with age. I think, like, as time passed, I kind of realized time... Time is fake. Doesn't matter. Take your time. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> But no, I used to love this. I never actually fully completed it because the only time I'd get to play it would be the times in school when we were allowed to, which would be like a maximum of once a week for maybe half an hour. So I didn't get to actually complete the game when I was younger because I, I never owned it. I just played it in school. <laughs> so getting to like the harder difficulties now is so fun because it's stuff I never managed to do myself back in the day. And I love it. All right, okay, we got this hair. We don't have to worry about the hair. We don't have to worry about the nose. I need a propeller this side. And I need the eyelid eyes. And that should do it. Yes. Matching. We got him. Oh, ever since you started being a completionist, your patience became near infinite. <laughs> oh, same, honestly. Like, if something is boring to me, then I won't have any patience whatsoever. But if I find something interesting enough, I can just keep going forever. Like, I, I will enjoy it for so long. Right, now we'll do this one with the propeller. That and green and propeller. And Cyclops. That matches, yeah! Oh, as a child you finished some insanely hard games that you simply can't finish anymore as an adult. Oh, see, I when I was younger, I would I would play like 100 hour JRPGs. I can't do that anymore. Like, I, I would love to. There's a lot of games I would love to play, but I just, like being an adult, I don't have time anymore. <laughs> it's why I, I actually have such a soft spot for shorter games. Like, I used to be like, oh, well, the longer a game is, the more value you get out of it. You get your money's worth. Whereas now I'm like, if I can finish a game in four hours, that is perfect for me. <laughs> I really like short games. Right, so last propeller one. And we need these glasses. Look at that! Beautiful silhouette. And now I think it's gonna swap. don't want to be intrusive so I don't need to answer but am I a teacher librarian or nurse I am not I'm not any of those things I I don't feel like I would make a good teacher like I'm I have like my own way of describing things I don't think it would work well in like a teaching environment <laughs> but no I'm not any of those although there was there was a period in my life where I was on track to becoming a librarian <laughs> But that didn't actually pan out in the end. But it, you're not, like, completely wrong. You're not on the complete wrong track. <laughs> but I, I never did in the end. I can't play 100-hour JRPGs. Nervously sweats at your game list. Oh, honestly, I wish I could. I used to all the time. Like, I would just sit playing games. Like, I would come home from school. I would just fully absorb myself in a game every single day for however long. But nowadays I have so much like extra stuff to do. I I think the last time I played a game that much was Baldur's Gate 3. When Baldur's Gate 3 came out, I played so much of that game, but it also happened at a really rough point in my life. <laughs> so I kind of just used Baldur's Gate 3 as a huge distraction for that. Like I I fully invested myself in that so I didn't have to think about bad things. <laughs> But yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 cheats because it's just amazing. It's just too good. It's not allowed. But I'll thank you for the compliments, though. <laughs> I, re I do appreciate it a lot. Right, back to this. We've got eye, hair, blue nose, and feet. So we need these feet. And we need a cyclops eye and a blue nose. There we go. Go. Next one, we need treadmill feet over here. And that hairstyle. Well, that's both of these. 
So treadmill feet and the flat hair. And then this side needs a yellow nose. So that should work. Yeah, it's just the nose there. That'll work. Yes. Got him. And I can use this again with the other treadmill feet I have. Treadmill feet and flat hair. And... Uh, I just need the yellow nose. Yeah, I just need the yellow nose, I think. Yes. Yeah, we're good. Haha. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave, you have some chores to do. Oh, that is completely fine. I hope the chores go well. Thank you for stopping in though. It's, it's always fun chatting. <laughs> but I hope you have a lovely rest of your day as well. I hope the chores aren't too much of a chore. <laughs> right. Oh, next one. Uh, this hair. Eyes, eyes. Feet. These feet. Easy one. This hair and these feet. Yeah, this one's a really easy one. That's a nice one. Got him twice. Oh, you just game a lot because you're already on your PC to talk to friends after work, so might as well play games. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Like whenever I'm on my computer, I'm I have so many other things to do as well. So that's probably why I don't game as much as I used to. Like, when I was younger, I did I did more console gaming because I didn't have, like, my own PC. So when the, it is just games, it was so much easier to play. Whereas now I turn my computer on and there's too much possibility. There are too many things I can do. <laughs> so I never know which one to do. Right, next one. Ooh! Well, the eyes don't matter. We need the little tuft hair. Oh no, we need blue nose. Tuft hair and blue nose. This one. Tuft hair, shades, blue nose, treadmill. And then it's just the treadmill. Yeah! Got him. And then I think we can do this exact same one again with this and this. Bum, 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 bum. Yes. Look at that! What a, what a cool zoom beanie. I'm so glad that's definitely what this one looks like. Right, we've got the hair and nose. We don't need to worry about that. We need the Cyclops eye. And then this one's going to have to have a spring. So that. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. These eyes? Hold on. Yeah, the, the hair doesn't matter. The feet don't matter. We've got these eyes and now this is a green nose. So we just give green nose. And that should work. Yes. Yes. There it is. Beautiful. And don't have to worry about the hair or eyes. We have blue nose on this side. And shoes. That should be fine. Yes. Yes, that is fine. All right, only two left. Two left. That should do it. Yep. Last one. Okay, don't have to worry about the eyes. Scruffy hair, eyes, pink nose and spring. Pink nose and spring. Scruffy hair, eyes, pink nose, spring. Yes. Oh, look at him. Got them all through. Let us continue! <laughs> I love this game.
Search first for traps. So easy. Back to the abyss. Oh, this is a hair one. So this is going to be the same elements as the other one. So the ones with the, the mohawk need to take the right path. Yeah, let me let me write this down quickly. Write down my notes. Uh, left path, right path, all mohawk, flat hair. And the left path is when it goes up, up equals not the bob hair, not bob hair. And down is the path will be not scruffy hair. There, so that's all we need. That's all we need for this one. This is how we get across. <laughs> what we do is uh, everyone with the flat hair, this one, they're all going this way because they will turn there and not be sucked into the abyss. Uh, when we take the ones with the left path, when it's going up, we make sure they don't have the bob hair so they can get to the end. When it's pointing down, we follow the path. We make sure they don't have the scruffy hair so they keep following to the end. And with that, we got them! Uh, honestly, when I started stream, you didn't expect the puzzles to evolve like this. This doesn't even feel like a children's game anymore. I know! That's the thing that gets me. Like, it starts so simply. But then it it does it so cleverly too. Like it once you've done an area a few times, it then increases the difficulty level by one. But then it won't increase again until you've gotten three more sets of zumbinis through, and then it will increase again. So it makes sure you're understanding each level before it will move you up. And I think that's a really good way of doing like an educational game like this. It's so good. Like, it would have been nice to just start right on the hardest difficulty, but I kind of appreciate starting at the lower one and, like, building up. It helps you realize how the game teaches you to use logic to figure things out, like, from the smallest little steps, and then how that builds up and you add more, add more aspects, add more steps to it. But it's still the same base concept of logically figuring it out. It's so cool. I love it. Anyway, all of the ones with the flat hair are taking the right path, so we might as well send them off on their way. <laughs> These ones are all going this way. Because if they go any of the other ways, they will just perish in this kind of hidden portal to the abyss. <laughs> send the next one over. I'm gonna enjoy a drink while they head off on their little bubble journey. I love them. And now you can go. this game originally released during a time when games didn't throw tutorial boxes at the screen for every single puzzle. Yeah, that's one thing I really appreciate about this game too. You're not told anything. You start the puzzle and you can just like try things. But if you get stuck, there's a little hint system. It'll give you like the basic concept. And then if you're stuck, you can actively click to get more hints, but it won't tell you unless you, you want that, unless you want that hint. And I think that's a really nice way of doing it. I really like that. All right, one more. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, no, there's one more here as well. I almost missed this one. Oopsie. That's okay. You can head over now as well. Yeah, that's safe. Woohoo! 
when that happens, like, why is this even a puzzle if you already tell me how to solve it? Yeah, it's... I mean, it's definitely dependent on the puzzle. Sometimes you do need a few instructions to know what to do. But a lot of the time, like, with puzzles, I feel like hints give too much of a hint for me personally. Because I like figuring things out myself. Like, the reason why I like puzzle games is because I, I get to work through everything myself and then I'm the one who's found the solution and then I feel proud of myself. <laughs> it's why I love them. Right, so now we're going for the, the left path. So when it's up, we need it to be... Let's start with the scruffy hair. Up scruffy hair, down bob hair. So it's pointing up, so we do the scruffy hair. Yes. Because then this one will take this path, we'll go this way, we'll keep going because it's not the bob hair, and we'll make it to the end. Whereas if I sent one of these over, they would get to this point, because they have the bob hair, they'd go down here, and it would perish. <laughs> so we start by just alternating them, and then the rest of them can just go in whichever order. Because they can go either way, and be fine. Right, bob hair. Over you go. And go this way. You'll go all the way across here and you won't go down into the abyss because you don't have the scruffy hair. And you'll go up to safety. Right, bob hair's over. Let's send scruffy. Just taking them in turn. <laughs> fun to figure out because once you've figured out the rules you can have a set order for them to go in and you know it's going to work and they're going to be safe but to begin with it looks so intimidating because there's so many arrows everywhere you need to just focus on the path just following the path and ignoring the things that aren't relevant to that path like all of these like this is all stuff for this route we don't have to look at these arrows it confuses the top route. <laughs> right, which one was that? So we go scruffy hair next. Uh, scruffy hair? Yes. Scruffy hair. And then bob hair again. And then any of these. Then bob hair. Then the others. They can go anyway. Sent you over. Now you can start your journey. Man, I could do this way faster if I sent multiple ones out at the same time, but I, I'm still too scared. <laughs> I don't want to risk anything happening to them. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna like watch them go. Just let them keep going. It's so cute the bob hair and then just any of them just to change the direction of the arrow. <laughs> Up you go. They're almost all back now. We, we're almost at Zumbiniville. It's just over here. It's just along this path. We're nearly there. There's just a few more. <laughs> Now Bob hair. Three more left. So close. Now it, it really is so incredible to think about how this is a children's game. Because it takes so much thought, some of these puzzles. Like I I love it so much. And like, like I said earlier in the stream as well, I'm pretty sure this game was like my origin story for loving logic puzzles so much. 
like specifically logic puzzles above other things. Like, I love all kinds of puzzles and puzzle games, but the things I like the most are when it's very logically based, like pattern recognition and noticing trends and figuring out what works and what doesn't. Those are the elements that I really, really enjoy in puzzles. Like, those are the things that I really enjoy figuring out, like having the opportunity to work it out and reach the conclusion and get a solution. Like, oh, it's it's just the best feeling for me. I, I love puzzle games. It's like the kind of satisfaction that I can imagine a lot of like adrenaline fueled people get from like fast paced action games. I get that satisfaction from solving a, a good puzzle that makes me think really hard. <laughs> Last one! We got them all over! Get that notepad out of here! You did it! You saved them all! I did! Let's head to Zoom Beanie, though. We got them! Oh, new building! We got a shop! Oh my goodness! The general store! This general store was erected for the Zumbinis who bested bridge watchers, crept cautiously past cave guards, and satiated Shyla the pizza-loving troll when the traveling was very hard. Yeah, ramping up the difficulty now. This is so pretty. I love this. I love Zumbini, though. Oh, we got another one, too. Yes! Ooh! The firehouse! This firehouse honors the Zumbinis who finagled the ferry boat, successfully swapped lily pads, and connected the current when the traveling was oh so hard. So it's when you complete an area on a difficulty for the first time, that's when you get the buildings. Oh, it's, it's looking good. Looking good in Zumbiniville, I think. Nice. Right, what time is it? It's already like 20 to 11. I <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to do a long stream today, but I kind of ended up going for almost the, the regular time I do. <laughs> I think I might leave it at that for today for now, because um, I have I have had a busy day and I am getting a little bit tired, so I'm, I'm going to listen to myself. I'm going to listen to my body and <laughs> try and go to bed. <laughs> But, oh, this, this is so fun. I love this game. Like, this game has no right to be as fun as it is. I've got 80 Zumbinis to Zumbiniville. And I'm going to do more. I'm going to keep playing it. I love this. It's so fun. Like, it's... I, I can't wait to do everything on the harder difficulties. Like, I'm... It's, it's such a great adventure. Ah! I love these logic puzzles. But yes, I think that is going to be where I leave it at for now. So I shall... Bloop. I'm going to head over to here and we can find a raid target. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to stream this today, though. I wasn't sure how I was feeling earlier. <laughs> but it's been really fun. It ended up being really nice. I liked talking about stationery with everybody. Thank you. <laughs> But yes, with that, I think I shall go and get some rest. But I, I, I love this game. I, I fully plan on completing this game. Even like if I don't get every single Zumbini, I'm going to complete every area on the hardest difficulty, at the least. I love it. I, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, thank you. I hope you have a, a good night too, or day, or happy time zone. <laughs> But it's been so fun. I love this. Right, let's see who's around to raid. Here we got. Wait, Momoka's still streaming? <gasps> Momo's still streaming. Wait, we're going to Momoka. She's, she's been streaming for like nearly seven hours now. What the heck? Yes, I'm going to send you over Momo's way. I've raided her so much recently, but I, she's lovely, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. I like raiding her because she's lovely. But uh, Momo's actually doing a partner push at the moment too, so as many views as I can send her way, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> but uh, here is the raid message. 
If you are subbed, we have the comfy emote. If not, we will send hearts if you want to. And I'm going to send you over to the lovely Ushime Momoka, a, a, a member of a... I'm forgetting how to speak now. That's probably a sign I should go to bed. <laughs> I should probably sleep, maybe. But uh, Momo's another member of Burpro with me, which is the, the streamer group I'm a part of. And she is lovely. She is such a sweetheart. And I'm always happy. Like, any opportunity I get to raid her, I'm going to take it. <laughs> but, oh, I'm glad you found it fun, too. Thank you for stopping in, and thank you for the follow as well. I definitely plan on doing more Zumbinis in the future. I'm... It's so fun. It's so good. But yes, oh, midnight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting late. Time for rest. <laughs> but yes, I'll send you over Momo's way and then I will be back tomorrow at the usual time in the afternoon for, what What did I put on my schedule? Did I, did I do House Flipper? I think, <laughs> I think I just said House Flipper. <laughs> I don't remember my own schedule. I, I was half asleep when I made it. <laughs> Yeah, it's House Flipper. I'm going to play House Flipper tomorrow. <laughs> it's nice and easy. It's another chat game. It's another game where we can just hang out and chill and talk about stationery and handwriting. <laughs> but yes, I will send you over to the lovely Ushime Momoka for now. Momo is so sweet. She's very lovely. I love her a lot. But for now, I shall look after myself and go and get some rest. But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. This has been such a fun stream. I really liked it. <laughs> Maybe I should do some more evening streams. I don't tend to do them in the week because I get so tired, but it, it was it was nice. It was nice getting to see some people who can't make my streams usually because of time zones. But yes, we'll see how things go anyway. But uh, I will leave it at that for now. I'll be back tomorrow, but for now, I, I go rest. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.